record to the cloud. There we go. Hello, everybody. In progress in the future on the everybody internet. be interesting now because Rob's Susan is is um, recording. I have to put my personal pronouns here now because now my name is confusing. I don't normally do that because Robert is kind of, although although Star Trek Discovery has screwed that up royally because they have a female character named Michael. So I don't know. Way, people can it, be people can be whatever, you know. It's name okay. Name. Yep. And Paris so. Paris used to be a male name, right? And then Paris Hilton came along, and there was a lot of girls named Paris. Sure. Um, when uh, on the screen it comes up and says, you know, that, that we're going to be recorded, got it. And if I said I don't want to be recorded, what does that do to me, or what does that do to the recording? Hey, let's test that. Let me do it again. You could test to see what happened now. <laughs> I think you get bumped. Yeah, I have no idea. You were pretty the sure. whole thing, so it, it I get the equivalent of you pulling the ejection handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't. Well, want I got to the be right chair. I got, okay, goodbye. I, I got Jeff's chair for that. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Hey, Bob, why don't you change your name from Cat's iPad? <laughs> or sign in with your other account. I want to see a chicken. It looks I didn't like come a, here to see you all. I want to see a chicken. It looks like Mim. the video is being a little bit glitchy. Yeah, could be. It, is uh, Faith not playing? Hmm? Is uh, Faith and Romero not playing? They're usually here early. No, they're not here usually by this time. Oh, I thought they were. Romero might. Um, it, was his, it was his birthday today or yesterday. Would they have gone out that to dinner? It never stops anything. Faith Faith showed up after her surgery. Yeah. She was, <laughs> in the, was, she was just wheeled into the <laughs> recovery room. Where is she going to go? <laughs> well, I would think she would be sleeping or something. Wouldn't be here. Uh, they came in after their now, anniversary. After surgeries, now they tell you to get up uh, right after right after the anesthesia wears off. They want you walked around immediately. Not the old like. And what surgery to, you had? Well, she didn't yeah. get to walk around, but she she got willed into there. Is uh, Richard coming, or is he? Still yeah, he, I think he's going to be water? here. No, I think he's going to be here. He well, he asked me today what times, how many hours to trivia. Oh, okay. What's going on with Ben? What's taking him so long to get here? Is he just? Uh, oh, I, I guess know. he's here. He's just he's not on. there. Yeah, he might be having uh, issues with his. Yeah, he just didn't turn on his video up. and stuff. I'm here. Oh, oh, I'm just oh. picking on wallpaper. Oh, and Susan. Oh, so, as long that. as you're not picking your nose. Um, Avi said that he's okay for next week. I think he's got it. He's doing. Uh, There's the chicken. <laughs> is that does that meme Mim? No, that's Max. Okay, Max. Mim is the one without the. Hi, Max. How are you? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> That's a very active, <laughs> active chicken. Isn't he a rooster? Yeah. Yes, let's be exact. Oh, so, same good. chicken. There I am. Chicken, well, is chicken, chicken is the chicken is the species, right? Or it's also hen, a food. species. Hen, hen is a yeah, is a female, a egg laying female. It's like saying horse, but there's also genders of horses, right? But you can still say right. any, each of those. Yeah, kind of like, oh, you guys are so smart. Uh, well, we'll see how we can that is when trivia. We have trivia about that. That would be how really cool a category. Mm. <laughs> Is this the name of a particular uh, gender or is this the name of a species? Hmm. Well, I had that one once that was a long time ago, if you guys remember where I did, um, you had to come up with um, the, uh, what was it known as in a, like a murder of crows, you know? Yes, yes. Crows yes. and you had to come up with it. Or I, I never did those. That was awful. You guys hated me for that. I had another Pluralities category of animals. for you. Pluralities yeah. of animals, yeah. Nobody liked that category at all. Yeah, well, and, and I've seen one on, you know, skeptic memes. They start they start with animals and then the last one is, and at first I don't remember what it, they come up with, but a blank of psychics or a blank of homeopaths. And it's a, it's a very derogatory. I I've seen them. Um, what do they call? What do they call the homeopaths and the nat naturopaths? I can't remember now, but they've had some pretty funny names. I'm not clever enough to come up with them. Remember them? I, th I think a group of skeptics should be a criticality. I like that. <laughs> I like it. 
Oh, okay. Remember right. that. There's you, team do, name. Do a meme, pass that around. Maybe it'll stick, Carl. Well, we'll have to do a team meme. <sighs> this is weird because I'm not using all my pluralisms screen. are that quite that many syllables. <laughs> we could have a max of chickens. So in other words, Jeff just had a skeptical take on whether that's going to take. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I, I am a language uh, descriptivist. Mm -hmm. So if it takes, mm -hmm. cool. I will gladly take that up. I will gladly accept it. If it does not take, cool. I will gladly accept it. <laughs> oh, I just heard a fascinating thing about, you know, the, the, the current recent push to, to, to uh, de-genderize um, manned space mission uh, and go, going back to Star Trek, the next generation change from where no man has gone before, where no one has gone before to take the word man out of those things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Turns out man used to meant human. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. That before. I'm so glad that somebody's oh, yeah. finally remembering that is our amazing. history. Yes. And That's it was the whole means. thing about how man and woman came along and also wife was with and it was amazing. I never heard that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's old news. Glad you caught up, Rob. <laughs> Glad it wasn't a category right. before. Now, now I'd probably get some of them. My cam my phone, my cam my laptop doesn't have a, a good camera for some reason. I can't get it to work. So I have a I have a portable camera on here. Here, let me show you around my apartment here. Look at this place. There's uh, can you see? Well, how, no, you far, how far are you from, from where you live? An hour and a half. Oh, that's Stanford is um let me take off this video so you can see. There's a book club tonight, so yeah, she's. I'll she's probably be the only Canadian. Oh, are you kidding? From California, Larry will be here. Larry is part of the book club. So. I know, but he hasn't gone to one anyway. Yeah. Oh. Let me see how to remove this turn. Good thing. evening. There's Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hey, I'm Canadian. What happened this? to Susan? I'm right uh, here. There's no gargoyle. You're not from Calgary, though. Yeah. No, Susan's here. If you I look at the here. names, oh, Susan there is very is. obviously here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, look, look, look at. Here's my. Here's our apartment. It's beige. Isn't that nice? <laughs> beige walls. But I can move this camera around. See, it's nice outside yeah. here. And then is that is, are you in an Airbnb or something? No, it's one of those uh, places that um, the uh, the hospital. Uh, you know, oh, that's right. Because yeah. my sister's going to be here for six that's weeks. That's right. She's getting oh, wow. chemo and radiation, so she's here yeah. six weeks. But she's was only it, got two chemos. But Ron, still, so. Is it Ronald mm -hmm. McDonald House? Right I, next door. I, I am just very really under the impression that one chemo is a lot. So two no. sounds like quite a bit. No, but I no. had I had seventeen. <laughs> wow. Oh well, so no. I'm. I still think that's. I just think that's a gigantic <laughs> no, I, number. No, and I went to work the next day too. Wow. So, no, it's not wow. It's I, just you do it. You don't have a yeah. choice, Jeff. <laughs> no, <laughs> I understand that, but I also understand, you know, it's like, you know, no. a lot of people don't have a choice to go through certain more harrowing experiences and you know, you deal with it and you keep right. going. But if you have to have chemo, just do it. It's not a big deal. It's like okay, so are, yeah. are, it's scarier are, is, that it's is, is the treatment the same for any cancer? No, no, every chemo is a little different. They okay. use different kinds of stuff. Uh -huh. But if it's the same general kind of idea, but no, it's not that big a deal. I mean, it, it is a big deal, but it's not. Put it this way. When you have your surgery done to get remove the tumor, that's 99% of your treatment. Mm -hmm. So you get I it think. taken out, and then everything else is just gravy. Hi, Terry. Hi, Romero. Oh, I'm Hi. not in charge. So I, I had <laughs> surgery. Hey, Susan. It was more appropriate for my condition. Yeah, yeah, not all cancers even have chemo for them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and also chemo, chemo has it like chemo sounds like one thing, but it's yeah. really iterated a lot over the years. And and right. you know, today's cocktails are not the same yeah. as they were 10 years ago. Exactly. Great yeah. radiation right. was an option. I think it, it was radiation it and surgery were the two options. Mm -hmm. so, I had, that, I had, I had, I had uh, 33 radiations, I think. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. wow. No big deal. I went in, you're there for, you got to change, take off your clothes, get on a gown, go lay down in this thing, can't move, 
five minutes later, you're up and you have to go back, put your clothes on and then go back to work or whatever. They don't, they don't marry, they don't make, ever. they don't make you wear a mask, do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had it a few years ago, so no. Uh, I, in fact, I made a video on my last treatment of radiation. I'm laying on the thing and I put a little tiny camera this is before I had my iPhone I put this little camera a video camera on it and it sat on my stomach and I just let it play and it shows the machine going over my over my body and all the sounds and then it gently rises and settles because it's on my stomach and it's I'm glad I did it because it, it was you do it every day for a month and well except the weekends you just forget chemo and cancer it's it's after a year or two, you forgot. You've forgotten everything. It's mm -hmm. not that. Anyway, I don't want to depress anybody. My sister's in the other room, so I don't want to get her all freaked out. She thinks okay. she's getting a lot of. She's thinking she's getting a lot of. You know. My, I want to. My mom had. My mom had yeah. chemo once, mm -hmm. and uh, she was getting ready for work, and a big chunk of hair fell out. She took some bubble gum. <laughs> no, this, and then she went to one of her coworkers, one of her friends at work, and said, "I think I got some gum stuck in my hair. Can you help me?" And the woman was picking at it, and then all this hair came out. And she she screamed, and my mom just laughed. Oh, that's hilarious! Oh, that is hilarious. She has a six uh, I like your mom. Yeah. That's funny. No, that's too funny. Hi, Gail. Hello. I hope Jamie makes it because he he had he wrote to me and he had a really good story to tell everybody tonight. Do you know if J Jamie's going to make it? He told me he was coming tonight. Okay, I won't tell the story. I'll I'll wait and let Max, him do it. Come here. Come here, Max. Come on. Come here. And who's doing rounds tonight? Can you do it? Ask well, Susan. So I have on the list uh, you, which I hope you know. Uh, Deborah just joined. James, Robin, and Gail. In that order. You're up for it, Deborah? Oh, yeah. I'm just eating my dinner. And, Don't mind me. And Gail? You are, did you say I'm going to? I had something? a lot of fun making the questions. So I love it. I really am looking forward to this. I haven't seen anybody for a, for a week, you guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, and uh, I, I should. Caspian should be here tonight. Start. I might be. Oh. I, I might be cutting out a little bit early only because, like, I woke up with a terrible migraine and so i've been trying to fight out staying awake uh but i wanted to be here so oh, gail's oh, gonna have something yeah, to make can... you laugh so don't worry Did you try me. homeopathy i hear that works um, <laughs> how late do you think you're gonna be able to stay i mean i'm gonna try to stay as many rounds as i can but probably treat me the same as you would avi in terms of like team makeup yeah that's what i'm asking for okay yep. yeah i'll i'll be leaving at break yeah, I'll be well, leaving. I'll be leaving well. a break. I'm so sorry. I'm leaving a break, and so is everybody else. <laughs> oh, we're coming back. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm ready to start. We ready to start? Oh, it's not no, time. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you, Carrie's, Carrie's gonna get a new phone. Yeah, Did you call her Carrie? Yeah, well, that's what we call her. Her name is Carrig. Yeah. Okay, so drop be consistent G. now. Well, you call her whatever you want. No. But she needs Good a Jamie. new phone. Hi, Jamie. Because I, kept, I was yeah, she was having her. a lot of problems. Is she going to be here so tonight? She's going to wait till she gets her new phone. Plus, she, okay. you know, she's tired at work, so she had a rough, you know, if she, on a particular day if she has a rough day at work, or she's exceptionally tired. So, you know, I told her, don't worry about it if you come, come or not. What was? So what does she phone, do for a living? She does. She does the same thing I did. She, we work at a university in the residence hall food service. And uh, she does part of the meal. Oh, okay. That can be very For, on your feet kind of thing then. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. Hey, Jamie. Jamie, I want you to tell everybody the story you told me, but I don't know if you want to wait and tell it when a little more people get here or not. Um, but we're recording. Want, it's up to you. The, um, just that in Thailand, there are many Ukrainian and Russian tourists who visit our island and all throughout the country. And so um, every, as, as Americans, um, we have a long-term visa, but every 90 days we have to stop by the immigration office 
to renew our residency certificates. But we went there a couple of days ago and the place is just jam packed with Ukrainians, um, basically panicking because there's about 700 Ukrainians, vacationers, tourists in Thailand now who are stranded and their 30 day tourist visas are expiring. And generally, this country has a very um, strict visa policy that after 30 days, your visa expires and you have to leave the country. But there are, um, the office is packed with Ukrainians. We saw all these Ukrainian passports of all these people panicking because their visas are expiring. But a couple of days ago, um, Thailand announced that they'll extend, free of charge, they'll extend their visas for another 30 days. Well, this oh, better be good. over in 30 days. I mean, what would they do? I mean, you can't fly into Ukraine right now. So no, what they, would they, they do? A, <clears throat> I think um, I think a lot of Ukrainians may um, apply for refugee status. I think that's a possibility. But there's no flight, so they have no home to go back to. Well, there's so, no flight going back. There's nothing. Yeah. Or would they want to go back? Well, it, well, some might want to go back. But I mean, you couldn't yeah. go back. So, I mean, it's not like you could, I mean, if you had a stopover, like if your flight was from Thailand to Japan or something or, or to Germany and then from Germany to Ukraine, I guess that would, they could take their flight to Germany and just try to no, take the, sign them there. Yeah, but all the airspace in Ukraine is closed, so they can't get back home. They're stuck. So yeah, it's um, a walk. I, I think, I know. I, like so I, I think what will happen is I, I, I don't think, think many people are going in that direction on that border. No. To, uh, armed services. No. But the <laughs> but the bigger issue is that there's between four and seven thousand Russian tourists who are in Thailand vacationing. Ooh, and, they're going to be popular. Yeah. Well, last month, um, the Russians made up the the highest number of tourists outside tourists coming into Thailand. So, so now you have all the same. You have all those tourists all the same way. Um, their visas are expiring the same way. Well, the Russians could fly back, but the problem with the Russians is if they have Visa or MasterCard, they don't work anymore. No, so what they're doing- credit cards, what do you do? They, they can't yeah, get so, any flights back. Yeah. Well, what, what's happening is um, a lot of the Russian tourists, um, the Chinese are allowing them to use something called Union Pay, which is the Chinese version of MasterCard and Visa. So the Chinese are helping the Russians with their payments. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That's how they're doing it. And Hi, also Janine. the Russians, Nice. And the Russians are trying to use um, cryptocurrency to pay for their expenses. Oh, oh. Well. But, so but my, Russia my, makes up. My wife has a, has a client who was always talking about her Russian heritage. And this is about Russia, and this is about Russia, and this is about Russia. So, so this is the first time she's seen her in a month. And today, I'm not Russian. I only one sixteenth Russian. Don't talk about Russia to me. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Russia, may, may, Russia makes Whoa. up a very large a large percentage of foreign income for, for tourism. Russia makes up a very large percentage of tourism in this country. So there's a balancing act of Thailand. On uh, one hand, is supporting Ukraine. On the other um, is they want money for tourism. So there's a bit of a balancing act going well, on. Well, they don't have any money right now. The, the, the rubles worth almost nothing, right? So- Less than a penny. Listen, so well, if you don't have money, what so are you supposed to bit, do? That's yeah, a little that's, bit- Disingenuous the way they yeah. say that because and what was it beforehand? Yeah, that's Two correct. Right, it's basically like, gone down yeah. by maybe thirty percent. So it's not like yeah. when you just say it that way, it's worth less than a penny. It makes it sound like it started at a dollar. Yeah, and now yeah. it's it one. It started 100. at one and a half cents. And I was about to go buy some. That was my reaction. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I was bringing it up right now. I was like, if it fell that far, I need to invest. <laughs> seriously, it may, so, if it went to three percent, you know it's coming back. It wouldn't even make sense. Eventually, right? maybe. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I look at the chart of the ruble frame? over the last twenty years, and every time Russia did something like this, it did a, a huge change, and it really didn't come back. Well, how could it be not come back when it's but, as low as it could you, get? You go look at the Russian ruble so, versus the dollar since two. Same administration. That's how. That's true. When, when you're not confident that the country is actually going to change, like, you know, from a from a fundamental perspective, then why would yeah. you think that that would change your investment yeah. strategy? The pound like, sterling took a kick yeah. in the pants from Brexit and hasn't really got that back. Well, I yeah. guess, what are they going to do in Thailand for all those Russian um, vacationers who are out of money? Are they just going to have to, like... Uh, I mean, start working in the hotel so, and cleaning the rooms and, and no, the they're, using, they're, using, yeah. no, they're using the Chinese, the Chinese, no, Chinese like, union. I, I think the issue isn't that they, <laughs> that they don't have 
money it's it's how do they get the money that they do have and well, that's also and they're getting they've just added a month to their to their trip they didn't think they were going to have to add well, they'd have to have an awful lot of extra money i mean it's not like the russians in russia are going to say oh here let's give you some more money you can't you can't just make money appear if you don't have it i mean yeah if you're sure. in thailand you're vacationing it's beautiful and all that but it's not necessarily thailand isn't known for its being an expensive place to travel to they should That's send the, they should know. send they should send the russians to uh to the ukraine and let them uh, send them right to kiev and let them sit there well they yeah. can't yeah. get to kiev well, yeah. well the thing is is that the um a lot of the russians i think the government also is allowing to extend the russian visas also but there are flights you can't get from here to moscow but because all the the european airspace is closed to russian airlines so mm -hmm. aeroflot is still flying to the middle east Dubai, Abu Dhabi. So I think mm -hmm. uh, Russians wanting to go back home to Moscow will go from Thailand to the Middle East, the Middle East to Russia. Cost but them a fortune. I think and they Russians can't even get McDonald's when they get there. Well, what? Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's uh, right. When that Arafat was re reporting the uh, that they are the only place they can fly is Belarus now. What? Yeah, they fly you mean Belarus. little little Russia? Yeah, and plus they don't. Russia they, with a B. <laughs> they don't have they, they two thirds of their air flight or their air fleet has been knocked out of service because Boeing and Airbus are uh, refusing to service their uh, aircraft. Yeah, and and surprisingly, people think that Aeroflot is this terrible airlines using these old Tupelo planes. None of that is true. My wife and I we took uh, we took Aeroflot just a couple of years ago to Europe to Germany, and we flew through Moscow. And I'll tell you, when we flew um, Aeroflot from Thailand to Moscow, Aeroflot is, was beautiful. It was a 787 Dreamliner. The stewardesses were dressed beautifully. They looked just like Pan Am, old Pan Am stewardesses. And Service Putin was, just had a press Putin's conference with, with all the flight attendants around him. I heard this one, except 50. Oh, and they, that was on Colbert, and they all had this face like. <laughs> yeah, it was actually, it was one of the nicest flights. We loved, we loved flying Aeroflot. Huh. It was actually a really nice flight. But um, most of their jets, I mean, years ago, when we flew uh, the Russian airlines back in the 80s, it was these old Tupolev 154 jets, just junk. Now, most of their fleet are these beautiful 787s. Yeah. So since Boeing now discontinued service, um, what they're doing is cannibalizing mm -hmm. some planes in order to supply spare parts to others. That's, mm -hmm. that's what they're trying to do. So I, I have a friend in Russia, and she's very upset because nobody in her family or social circle uh, she's the only one who has any Western contacts, me and other people here. So she knows what's going on. All the rest of them don't want to talk about it. And they're they're towing the Soviet line. Wow. Um, and there was, there was a report on, I think it was ABC the other day, where somebody in Ukraine who's Russian, who, you know, has moved there and has all his family, uh, his father and all the relatives are back in Russia. It was a week into the war. And he was wondering why no one had called him. Oh, yeah, so he, I saw that. Yeah. So he finally got in touch with his father and his father, what are you talking about? No, they're just trying to save you from the Nazis. He goes, what are you freaking talking about? They're, they're attacking our country. They're killing us. No. And he hung up on him. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said he's had to call his dad back a few times. I saw that on BBC. Hi, Kevin. Are you ready to put us, get us ready, Rob? Uh, are we ready? At this point, I've already got you in your little, uh, at least I've worked it out. Who's going to be on what team by this time? So yeah. you should be doing that. There's only 18 people, just, though. Just saying. So we're going to start? They will be a lot more. Uh, Paula will show up a little late, okay. probably, maybe. Uh, Adrian might show up late. Kevin might show up. Not Kevin. Um, um, Larry might show up late. Rob. There's other people. Robin will show up. So okay. I have so, faith. And look, so there's faith. I have faith. Yeah, and there's, there's faith. Faith. I love <laughs> faith. So let's see. Do you think we're still doing five? Is there enough people to do five? Yeah, always do, we five. do four? Well, you don't always, always do five. five. I actually went over your whole spreadsheet. Sometimes it's been four and sometimes it's been seven. Uh, well, recently, at the very recently it's mostly seven. been five. Five. I always All right, do five. So we'll four do five. is um, four. I think we did at Christmas. I did mine. It was four because it wasn't enough people. Yeah, so it happens. All right, so I just made five rooms. Now I'm going to have to adjust it for the people who are doing the. And talk, then you want to put the yourself. person who's got the first yep, category. Yep, 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 yep. And you got to assign somebody to be your helper, and it shouldn't be somebody. I don't know. Do I need that? It's 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 better. 
and I try to make it somebody different each week to some extent. I want everybody, by the time you guys are done with this game, um, you know, eventually, you will be really good at, at Zoom. You'll say, I know how to do breakout rooms. I know how to mute everybody. I know how to, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. I know how. Yeah, so I make everybody learn. This is, uh, this is educational. And then all of a sudden, we'll be Wikipedia people, too. Oh, well, there that's happening slowly but surely. You're all there. I just published another page. Check it out. This page I just wrote. I don't know if anybody saw it, but we're trying to write all rewrite all stubs because remember Mark, uh, Rob and I went through this court hearing thing and they're on and on and on and on about how you guys need to be better part of Wikipedia and you need to be, you need to have GSO on <coughs> Wikipedia, blah, blah, blah. So I revived a little project called Wiki Project Skepticism. And I said, hey, everybody, all you people who are, you know, because they're all encouraging us to become part of the group. I said, we're going to rewrite stubs, which is like a Wikipedia page. It's not well written or, or it's very short on skepticism and there's lists of them large lists of them so we started at march 1st and we've written nine pages i just made the ninth one right now and all the people who were helping us are gsow members <laughs> <laughs> like well thanks but it's we're only on the 10th so we're on day 10 so we're trying to get at least a page a day kind of done and i finished one and i was sitting here at the couch but it was this really interesting guy who um um, and it apparently it was all over the front pages of all the papers and I'd never heard of it before, but it's called, it's a term, have you heard, painting the mice? Anybody heard of that? Because I hadn't heard of it. It means uh, research fraud. It's become to known as research fraud because this guy was taking, um, he was trying, he said that he had made it so that you take skin or an organ or whatever and you put in this solution this easy common solution for six weeks and then when you take it out of the solution you can graft it onto somebody and there's no um you don't need any kind of um uh anti medication drug. yeah an anti-rejection anti drugs so that was what he was trying to do is they were trying to get he says i've created this thing so you don't have the anti-rejection uh, drugs and everybody was going nuts you know he's giving lectures and the american cancer society was just freaking out that was so great and the nixon administration and the congress had boot doubled the budget for cancer research it was like nixon was like we're gonna we're gonna you know solve cancer and so there's all kinds of funding and stuff going out there. So this young guy was 35 years old at Stanford, and then he went to um, uh, University of Minnesota. Anyway, so he said he had made this happen, and then he took a black man's skin, and he took a graft of a black man's skin, and he grafted it onto a white man's skin, and he said it worked. And then he took, and then they said, well, okay, we got to replicate that, because the idea is it's got to be totally different skin. So I guess that was his way of proving it or whatever. So he took a, so he said he had a whole bunch of mice and he took the brown mice and he took their skin off and put them on white mice and white mice's skin on brown mice. Okay. So that sounds really good. He says, oh, I've done it. I've done it. So everybody's all flipping out. It's so wonderful. And then one of his research assist, uh, one of the research assistants in the laboratory took up one of the mice and realized that he'd taken out his felt pen and colored in the, the fur on the on the mouse can you believe it and so and then it hit front page everywhere and the guy said oh i had oh, dis God. disability or like mental stuff and i'm sorry and then he's just disappeared off the planet now so that was my thing oh look it came up for me to join a room how exciting i get to push the button see who's good in my go room. To your room i'm gonna wait for everybody to go i want to see who goes i want to be last how exciting. I, Kevin said, this is the best part is whenever you get to know who's going to be in your room. Susan, I talked to Carol Bumgardner. Don't you laugh.
Hello. Hello, Caspian. Welcome back. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you. I am all right. Glad to be home. You uh, uh, jet lagged? Uh, no, the, I got back on Saturday. Oh, OK. You have plenty of time. All right, let me go send you to the room. I went there about two minutes ago. Oh, it's actually five minutes ago at this point. So Susan might cut this part out. Maybe what I'm doing now is I'm assigning everybody, well, they're assigned to their rooms and I move them around officially in Zoom, but I'm transcribing that information into the Excel, Excel scoring sheet manually. I hope I don't screw that up. Okay. Let me go visit one of these rooms. Let's see. Hello, Susan. Hello, Susan, Rob. You're we muted. can't hear you, Susan, Rob. You're muted. Sorry. Change your name, please, to Romero and Faith, since so I uh, keep track of that. Now you're muted. Want me to change my name to Romero and Faith? No, don't do that. <laughs> Everybody do it. This is, no, don't, no. Luke is Caspian. No, you have to achieve parody. Like Hi, if there Caspian. were two people, then they could switch. It's your oh. mom. Hey, hey, Jamie, you've got to tell Caspian where I don't where believe that. You've got the wrong name. Yeah, no, actually, she's oh. Rob today. You don't he believe asked it? Me where, he asked me where you were in Thailand, and I couldn't tell him. All I could say was an island. Oh, Hi, Mike. We, live, we live far in the south called Koh Samui. It's near Malaysia. Caspian's here. Costa Mali. That's where we live. Okay. Yeah, that was nowhere near where I was. Oh. But we used to live in Chiang Mai. We used to live up in the north for years. We just moved here about a year ago. Well, you were much closer than the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Caspian was in the same time zone. That's relative. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Caspian, now that your secret project is over, you can tell us all, all about it, right? While we're recording. Uh huh. It was actually quite boring. Or we could speculate. He's a spy, I told you. Yeah, he was checking, he was just working on Kim Jong un. Nice. <laughs> I think what's he's really the weird. best secret agent in the whole wide world. 
Secret agent. I, I mean, I, I had secret clearance for most of my working career. And every time I changed jobs, left the company, whatever, I had an exit interview. You know, you're told, well, just because you don't have the clearance anymore, you still can't do this and you can't talk about this, whatever. Well, because I left the job because of the pandemic and things just went to hell. I never had an exit interview. So I guess I could tell anybody anything. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> tell us all your secrets, Rob. Tell us, yeah, secrets. Tell us Rob. Tell us. Write a book. All right. A after we stop recording. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fine. What? what? Oh, look, there's Mim. Hi, Mim. Mim and Max. Min, right. min, min with an N, like minimum, maximum, and minimum. Oh, oh. there's method to your madness, Max yeah. and Mim. That was one. That was one of my favorite categories. Was the all the nicknames for uh, Bob's like uh, chickens? Chickens. That was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah that I like that category. Oh, I like. I liked it. I thought it was a great. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Because it was like, you know, it they were names that were, you know, like celebrity type names that you were using. So there was, you know, uh, a means to try and guess what they were, but then the backstory as to why each one of them got the names was was fun too. Um years ago we had two Siamese cats, so we had to give them Siamese names. And when we went to the vet, we noticed how young the receptionist was because she asked what the cats' names were, and we said Yule and Brenner. Oh. <laughs> nice. Ironic she said, that? he was actually European playing a Siamese person. So yeah, that was <laughs> it was a Siamese name was the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what okay. are the Siamese cats named in uh, um, Lady, Lady and the Tramp? Does anybody know? I did. I am Siamese. They, they had a song. Did they yeah. have a name? Dun, dun. We remember. had um, three different Siamese cats when I was growing up. And the first one we got when I was about three and a half. And I named her Marianne for, <laughs> for the Gilligan? steam shovel. That, that, remember that uh, um, the steam shovel named Marianne? No. What? Oh, that's just, no, it's a children's story. book. And then okay. we got two later on. And the first one we named Meeper because she would sit in the window and, and go pip, 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 at flies. And the other one, the other one was we called it meeping, and the other one we named Gatita, which is just a little cat in Spanish. Aww. Oh, look! Here comes Saunders. Ooh. Saunders. He's getting his whole own column on my laptop. It's all just the only person there. Oh no, there's Richard. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's si and Hello. M. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Hello, Hello, Richard. All the way from Sydney, Australia. Hi, folks. We heard right. you were flooding. We uh, we were. It was. It's still pretty bad. Many parts of the country are disaster areas, but here I am. Isn't that happening in uh, Ukraine too? Aren't they flooding parts of it? I haven't heard that. It's flooding the no. Russians. We're flooding that, it with the Russians. Yeah. That's yeah, but there's water warfare. Yeah, I think I heard something about water going on. I didn't read the article. Okay, Susan, yeah. uh, Richard, yeah. Richard has entered, but in, when I open breakout rooms to try to put him in a room, it doesn't list him you'll anywhere. You'll have to, when you so go to breakout rooms, you'll have to actually assign him to a room. Well, that's what I was trying to do, and it's not even showing you. No, because you haven't opened, you haven't. So they have to be opened again. Yeah, they have to be open. Okay, thank you. And then it'll right. automatically say okay. this person is unassigned. And there may be more people who join before that too. Okay, so let's get the team names. Okay, starting with team one, which is Carl, Rob, Susan Palmer, Ben, and Vincent. <laughs> Put it in the chat, please. And for the Who's millions of it? people who will be listening to this, I'm going to say it out loud. Our, our team name is Cruise Cruise Convoy to Cancun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to write it? While you're doing that, I'll ask for the second name, which is second team is Deborah, Kevin, Romero and Faith. It's in the chat. It, our team name is We're Smart Enough to Pump Our Own Gas. <laughs> no, no, don't bring that up. I'm from Oregon. Poke in New Jersey? <laughs> You're not allowed to pump our own gas. They just <laughs> when I went gas. down to see Susan, I had to have somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't get gas in Oregon on purpose because I did not want to have to deal with somebody pumping my gas. I was, you can I was do like, your no. own now, right, um, Janine? <clears throat> didn't they huh? change that? No, 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 no. Oh, I heard they New were Jersey, too. 
Well, this wasn't a jab at Oregon, so you can just. In New Jersey, there are T-shirts that girls wear that yeah. say, uh, Jersey girls don't pump gas. Uh, That's right. Team three is James, Janine, <laughs> Terry, and Richard Saunders. What is your team name? Not Washington. Just easy to say words tonight. <laughs> and I don't see it, but the chat. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's Washington, not Washington. It's that's not Washington. Washington, just easy to say words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Team number four, which is Robin, Jamie, Jeff, Kyle, and Mike. Robin, sir. Uh, Moscow McDonald's MIA. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there we go for the first cruise. Cruise, cruise convoy to Cancun. Oh, that's going to trip me up. Good. You, you, Good. You, you, you said didn't tell you us. You put convey, not convoy. Oh, yeah. did I? Yeah. Well, well it's I a cruise. I, just I thought it was cruise, cruise. Here, You're supposed to be I'll convoy, right? It's convoy? Con, uh, yeah, convoy. Here, here uh, Rob. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Cruise, cruised convoy to Cancun. Cruised. Past tense. I like cruised. But it doesn't matter. Either one. It doesn't matter. Okay. And finally, last but not least, maybe not least, <laughs> Alan, Bob, and Caspian, Team five. This is, what a, is your name? a quote that came to mind today. It must be Thursday. I could never get the hang of Thursdays. <laughs> that bad? That's from the from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, oh, that's the <laughs> Yeah, I think I got it. To the galaxy. I did not catch that. I did not catch that. Very cool. I think I got it right. Not the day says that. Okay, so for game 97, if this is correct, season two, episode 40, the teams are cruise, cruised convoy to Cancun. We're smart enough to pump our own gas. Not Washington, just easy to say words. Moscow, McDonald's, MIA, and it must be Thursday. I could never get the hang of Thursdays. So we shall see who will come out on top in this game. And we have today the category uh, givers will be Carl, Deborah, James, Robin, and then Gail with the bonus. So Carl, if you're ready, you are up first. I have to give you powers unless Susan's done that. Nope, I'm not doing nothing. I'm sitting here enjoying this. <laughs> My vac vacay. It's my vacay. That's a nice headset you've got, Susan. You're coming through very clearly. Ooh. Mm. I'm in a very echoey room. Well, you've got so, the mic near your face, which helps a lot. Yeah. It's annoying, though. I hate this touring, this stupid thing. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let me give someone else powers to mute people. Or look, you look like you're in Star Wars. Okay. Kevin, Kevin, you want that? What do I do? Do you know how to do that? Mute people at the appropriate time? I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. Never I'm done gonna, it before, but I'll figure it out. You're going to have to do it in a couple minutes. So you <laughs> like, <laughs> like 10 seconds. Down. All right. So you, you open the panel that says participants, and then at the bottom it says mute all. So when it's time to do that, just do that and give a countdown and uh, maybe. Baptism by fire. And then maybe remind the person that is giving the category to unmute, but most people know they have And to you do also that. get to kick everybody out. You're the bouncer. <clears throat> Okay, Carl, what is the category up oh, number one today? Category is even more movies by bad description. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> Woo I love this one. Ooh, I love those. Okay, Kevin, mute people. Three, please. two, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number one from 1982. Disgruntled game developer gets gets too deep into his former employer system and re redefines the user experience. Number two. 1985. A boy whose only friend is an eccentric neighbor must shun his mother's affection or he will cease to exist. Number three. From 1989. An intrepid father and son go looking for religious dinnerware and get an infamous autograph along the way. Number four, 1971, OSHA nightmare. 
dude invites some kids to a factory, four of them possibly die, then he tries to rip off the fifth one before letting him use the elevator. Number five. 1999, an office worker does drugs to learn Kung Fu. Number six. 1988, man goes to meet estranged wife and kids for the holidays and really wishes she had given him shoes for Christmas. Number seven. Woman wakes from a, 2003, woman wakes from a long nap and reunites with former work colleagues while trying to set up a meeting with her old boss. Number eight, 2016, paranoid billionaire concerned immigrant might be dangerous. Number nine, 1988, a kidnapping and a road trip to Vegas where a sibling duo stopped to play cards. And finally, number 10, 1977, anti-government terrorist destroys massive government public works construction project. Wow, Any very problem? good, very good. Okay, are there any questions? No questions? Okay, right. then good luck all sending you to your room, or someone did. What are you sending me? Ah. There you go. Oh, you got the Ukraine flag, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to room one.
Just us and Cat's iPad. There it is again with Jamie. He gets his close up. Everybody's on mute. Yeah. Oh. It's always funny when the mute carries over and when it doesn't. Yeah, they're like it's. I don't. I'm sure it's deterministic. It's software, but I don't know what the rule is. Yeah, the rule's very strange. Yeah, because it's like okay, you go to the room, and if you were muted when you went into the room, then you're muted in the room. And then if you come back to the breakout room, and you were muted when you went in, when you went into your breakout room, then you're muted when you get back. Like, what is strange? Change. state diagram i think it's like tennis score i just am never going to be able to figure it out tennis is easy <laughs> tennis is really easy it like the numbers are arbitrary but it's very easy one of the numbers is not a number it's a word it's it's yeah but it's it's, it's, it's ten, yeah the french for the egg as in zero luff luff oh, that, love. oh i don't know Oh, hmm. yep. interesting. Love 15, 30, 40. And then if you are tied at 40, then it's deuce. And if you are, because you have to win by two points. So deuce is, okay, first to two points wins. And so then you just have advantage to a particular <laughs> player to indicate they have one point above the tie. And if they win the next point, then they win the, they win the game. Or they win... Yeah, they win that game. And then there are sets, and then there's a match. And uh, yeah, it's not super hard in terms of in, in terms of that stuff, um, because it's pretty common for short games that they have multiple sets and matches, multiple games and, and, and like longer things. So, but yeah, it's, it's true. There are words in it, but yeah. <laughs> It's not. It's not too bad. I I yeah, played I tennis for a while. No, I didn't know about love. That's interesting. That's a that was a French term. It's kind of like the word um, entree. As you travel, only Americans use the word entree to talk about the main dish. If you go to a restaurant in Europe or in Asia, and you, yeah. and you order an entree, an entree is the appetizer. Mm -hmm. The main the main wow. dish is the main dish. So when you go to a restaurant. They ask, well, what do you want for your, for your entree? And you order your main dish. They have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. It doesn't make any sense why entree would mean, would mean main dish. It's an American thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the, the meal we call uh, dinner was prior known as supper. Like yeah. dinner used to be lunch. Lunch didn't exist. Um. But now we, but now. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. Changed. Interesting. Yeah. It used to be still call it supper. Some people call it supper, but like people tend we to use dinner it. and supper interchangeably, but dinner yeah. used to be the meal that you would have near noon time or, or just after noon, like between noon and one, basically, yeah. or some somewhere about. And then like maybe you would have tea and then you would have supper. Well, that's because a lot of countries, people, um, your main meal of the day is, is lunchtime, not dinner. Sure. Like, in, like, like in Israel, your dinner, your main meal of the day in Israel is lunch, for sure. And mm -hmm. dinner is nothing more than like little yogurt, maybe some fruit, and that's it, some olives. Very, very light. Mm. Interesting. So that's, yep. That's why working in Israel, I used to work in Israel during the 80s. Mm. It was mandatory for companies to supply all your meals. It was great because uh, you'd have this buffet during lunch and we would have a two hour lunch that the company uh, would provide. And it's dinner time, basically. You have this huge, huge meal at noontime for two hours and you go back to work. Mm -hmm. How did it get it to like, be mandatory? In the 80s, all companies, um, when, if you work for a company, um, it was a government law that they, they supply all your food, all three meals. And they pay for your um, kind of laundry they pay for. If you have a child, you get special stipends to pay for diapers, things like this. It was great. Working in Israel in the 80s was fantastic. We loved it. It was a very social atmosphere. And during lunch, you have two hours to eat. 
and the company paid for all the expenses. You pay nothing for it. It was nice. I I can't imagine going back to work after that. Right. Like for me, a two-hour lunch means oh, I guess the day's ended. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you were working on a. You sound like you're working on a kibbutz. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, actually, I was working for a a company called Tediran, which was a um, electronics company, which was um, for the Israeli military. I was developing night vision systems, the sensors for night vision, for missile guidance systems and um, nighttime surveillance, things like this. But because it was a government, well, most companies at that time were government, but um, yeah, they, they abided by these uh, labor laws, to supply all your meals and all these benefits. Hmm. But it's tough because it was two hour lunches. So you go and have a huge lunch and then all the ice cream trucks would drive up to the building oh, and you spend half an hour, you go out have ice cream, you stroll around the, indust- the, the industrial park. Yeah, going back to work after two hours is, is kind of tough. Rob. Rob Gerbic, okay. are you writing all these um, questions wow. in the um, spreadsheet, please? No. They all have to go in the spreadsheet. What? That spreadsheet I, that has all the no, questions. I'm, no, I told this was part of the job. I yes, it's part of the job. In the job okay. description. I was just going to say, Rob, the, you didn't sign up for this. That wasn't in the job no, description. No, he volunteered. And just putting it this way, there's a lot more work that goes on behind the scenes than you guys realize. And so you got to put <laughs> all of them in and all the answers into the Okay, Carl, give us the scoop. You're, mu- you're muted, Carl. Yep. Number one, the disgruntled game developer who gets too deep into his employer system and redefines the user experience. That is Tron. Oh, yes. I thought it was Red Dawn at first. Number two, the boy who's Red only Dawn. friend is an eccentric neighbor. He must shun his mother's affection. Otherwise, he'll cease to exist in Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. Uh, the intrepid father and son go looking for religious dinnerware and get an infamous autograph along the way in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, Aww. wait a minute. For some reason, my chat is set to Ben only. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my fault. To. I, se- I sent Carl a message. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. <laughs> Sorry, team. I really thought the first one was Long Man. Oh, well. There we go. Oh, I thought it was something else, too. Number four, the OSHA nightmare. That's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Doing drugs to learn Kung Fu is The Matrix. He wishes his wife had bought him shoes for Christmas. Die hard. And I guess my team finally did get that it was Kill Bill. Oh, oh, no. Hey, Vincent. That was like a last second. I mean, we had seven seconds left on the clock when that came up. Could it be Kill Bill? <laughs> I will accept Kill Bill. You don't have to specify it's, either volume. If you specify the volume, it's fine. Was it volume one? Uh, well, either either volume one or volume two. It spans two, both, alive. really. She wakes yeah. up in the first one, but it's fine. I mean, I guess it's the first one because it says she's trying to set up a meeting with her old yeah. boss. Yeah. Paranoid billionaire concerned immigrant might be dangerous as Batman yes. versus Superman. Yeah. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Good yeah. story. Not, not the Donald Trump story. No. <laughs> Kidnapping on a road trip to Vegas. That's Rain Man. Nice one, Susan. I got two. I want you guys yep. to know I had two on this And round. the anti-government terrorist destroying the massive government public works construction project was Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Otherwise, no. Oh. Yes. For a new hope. Uh. <laughs> great. Yes, you guys were. Th- those were great. Great job, Really good, team. Carl. Carl with a K. So oh, that was so much fun. That was really Seriously good. Seriously fun. Like Always these. pick these ones I've, I've read, I've seen before, though. No. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> it's not no, as much no, no, fun no. when you've never seen it before. Oh, come on. Okay. That was that was fun. I like those. Those are really like good. And there's a myself. word document of the entire round in the chat if anybody is interested. Cool. Which All right. Rob after I take put this, into, Rob's going to put in there too. After I take the scores, you'll have to show me where that goes because I'm not. Even it goes under. It goes into past Q and A. Okay. So 
Team number one cruise, cruised convoy to Cancun. How'd you do? 10. Whoa. Back. Hey, Carl, you didn't sink your team. Team number two, we're smart enough to pump our own gas. Uh, seven. Not Washington, just easy to say words. Six. What was that? Say again? Six. Moscow McDonald's MIA. Ten. Yeah. Competition of four, team one. And the uh, final team, it must be Thursdays. I could never get the hang of Thursdays. Somebody? Nine. Oh, <clears throat> not bad for an average score of 8.4, but a pretty good spread, 6 to 10. Very good. You added an average score to my chart? Oh, I wow. I, I, I'm going to get this back. It's going to be all sophisticated. I, oh, at all. I, I, I spent hours fixing all this and making it uniform. I put all the names on the left. <laughs> <laughs> my OCD could not take it that every single one was different. <laughs> Thank you, you very much, I can Rob. Still improve it. Thank you very much. I, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> oh I'm going to start handing God. off my spreadsheets to people to Rob more often, and his OCD can improve them all. Okay. So uh, <laughs> stop the share. <laughs> stop the share. Stop you've, the share. You've created a monster, Susan. That's okay. I, I like monsters. Okay. So that's, that's, that's my job. Did you see my mission statement to create monsters? Uh, yeah, I, think, I already had a monster. You gave him a job. That's, <laughs> okay, so look. <laughs> okay, so next up, Deborah, you ready? Deborah's up. I am ready as I'll ever be. Deborah, let me give you the powers. Powers, powers. <clears throat> Deborah has the powers. And okay. will you tell us what fun category you're doing tonight? So this category is called the most. The most? The most. And there may be a few things in here that we've covered before, but as I've noticed, we don't have perfect memories. So maybe someone won't remember all the answers. <laughs> Hopefully most of them are new information. So uh, are y'all ready? Yep. And Three, two, one. Can you, can you, oh, excellent. Very good. Okay. So the number one is, what is the most dangerous job 2021 by fatalities? Okay, uh, I'll put these in the, I'll put in the chat too. Is um, this North America or worldwide? I believe it's worldwide. That's a good question. I don't think it's just North America. Could be wrong. There's my chat, chat. Oh, hold on, now I can't find my chat. I think I need my screen too little. There it is. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. The second question is what has the most, this is something that, that's food, <laughs> the most cholesterol per 100 grams? All right, and oh shoot, where did it go? Oh no, little screen disappeared. Okay, the third one is what is the most expensive man made thing? And number four, what is, was the loudest sound? And that would be like on earth. There it is, sorry. And number five, and this is a different different kind of question, a little bit. The coldest place 
on Earth is um, as, as measured by a satellite between 2004 and 2016 is the Eastern Antarctic Plateau. And within plus or minus five degrees, how cold was it? So that's, a, that's gonna be a number, obviously. Degrees of what, Celsius, Fahrenheit? Um, either one, I have it written down both ways. So whichever, whichever language you speak is good. Okay. Um, number six, what was the most watched movie? And I, that includes like all, you know, uh, not just movie theaters, but all kinds of, all kinds of watching. Um, and the question seven, according to the Chronicle of Philanthropy as, and Newsweek, what, what US nonprofit had the most donations in 2020? And number eight, <clears throat> what is the slipperiest substance? And number nine, what is the stickiest natural substance? Number 10, which state has the highest percentage of its surface area occupied by water? And then there's a bonus question, which is kind of related to that question a little bit. Which state has the highest total area of water? Okay. There you go. Have fun. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Can you give us any more guns? You're breaking up, Kyle. Your audio yeah, is really I, bad. I didn't understand that question, Kyle. Sorry. Turn your video off for a, for a bit and try that again. Let's try that. Question number three, the most expensive man-made thing. I mean, that's pretty broad. It's a single thing that's man-made. You're talking about broads. <laughs> I'm talking about a pretty broad. No, number six, yeah. most watched movie of all time. Pretty isn't. Uh -huh. What kind yeah. of pretty? According for, to, you know, sources. The judge is prettiness. For, for number eight, substance of any kind, solid, liquid, etc. She said natural made. No, no, natural. that's the sticky eight. thing is natural. The slipperiest thing, it could be anything. Do you, is there a source for this? Is this like according to Wikipedia or according, according to, to Deborah? Sorry. <laughs> I think uh, I do According have to uh, Ebert's website. I have, I have some <laughs> <laughs> I have most of us were it. scoring a 10. When you say, Deborah, most expensive man made thing, are we talking about something like something somebody's actually paid for it or like the estimated cost of making it? You know, I don't know if I had the. Uh, I had a question with that one. Is that one like laid out that way? <laughs> per gram or is it more like it... the raw num amount? Which question is I'm sorry? Number three. Number three? It's per gram. You mean number two? Oh, per, well, it's, it's the, oh, sorry, the number, number two, that I, yeah, actually number yeah, two. Number two. He's number it doesn't two. matter. It's just no, the, three, the, I mean, the most, most calories per. It's the most cholesterol and, and the number I have is, per is the number based on By how many grams, but yeah, it's just the most. So the my question with number three, most expensive man-made thing, it's not a single item like there are a lot of items in a car a car is made up of a lot of things it could it, thing. could, be, it could be a thing like a car okay so it could yeah. be made of other things yeah another another question yeah. with that could it be that it 
maybe doesn't cost a lot, but it, when you look at how much you're getting for the cost, it could be more expensive. You guys are overthinking this. I don't think it has to do with value. <laughs> Can you let us pick three things? So give us no, a chance. We're ready to go. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Send us to our rooms. Okay, wait, I got to see how to, oh, good. Ah. Oh, not now. I'm not going there now. All right. Break our rooms. Where did they go? There we are. I need Why? to be assigned to room one. Why is Caspian not here? What happened? Caspian's still here. Now. I don't know, but I need to be thrown into group one. Um. Okay. Where are you? Does that work? Yep. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And that one stays there. Are you going on a team, Rob? Are you going to go on my team? I, I am in a minute, but right now I am copying the uh, copying oh, and pasting all the stuff that Susan does in the spreadsheet, which I didn't know she did this. It's just like a pain. I think she's mentioned it before. Nice uh, backdrop you have, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was either that or get a whole bunch of uh, pictures of Susan and make a montage of her behind me. I was oh my gosh, that, that would have been crazy. I ran out of time, so I, I, it's easy. <laughs> if you look out that window right there next to you, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, there's a lovely little garden out there, and there's some succulents on a table. I was just over there on Sunday. But, but her cats keep scratching my legs, so that's the problem. Uh -huh. Yeah, and peeing on you. No, she doesn't let the, no, let the cat, no. <laughs> she doesn't let the cats back in their room anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so i finally got all carl's questions and answers in i took all that time to do that oh my god okay all right so i'm going to go to um, 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 um. so you can, you can you can go pop around all the rooms and see i will do on. that all right uh, i can go to room three there we go yes this.
Hi, Kat. Hey, right, Deborah. <laughs> Where have you been for the past two hours? <laughs> well, I don't know. You didn't get put in a room, I guess. No, no. I, uh, I uh, double booked a whole bunch. <laughs> I'll let Karen into. I didn't mean to close the rooms. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, you were actually in a room. Okay. I was hey, visiting. Okay. Hi, Karen. I'm here by, I'm here by surprise. I, I must have pressed the wrong button because of. No, I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> no, well, I'll, I'll hang out here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> How's the weather down south there, Richard? So something something funny on uh, Facebook. This event is listed social trivia by Susan Gerbic on March 10 RD. RD. Hi, is Karen. Instead of the tenth, like t ten th, it's ten r d. Like third, tenderd. Third. 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 Third.
Maybe it's March the third became March well, the tenth. I feel like I feel like that's fitting with the number of nerds we have here. Oh yeah. March the third yeah. plus seven um, is March the third. Can we go back to our rooms? We were we hadn't finished. No. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to call people back. I think I slipped my hand slipped and hit the wrong thingy. So <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, yeah. I, I just we weren't, I we weren't through. What was the that's all? gonna be Putin's excuse too. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, I'm opening all rooms back if you need to. Too dark, Kyle. Yeah, we'll go back. Oh wow. <laughs> Kevin went back. I'm staying here. And uh, uh, Larry and Karen, I don't think have rooms. I haven't been assigned, no. Well, we'll have to see who's in last place. And, uh, oh, I see Larry. Hi, Larry. Yeah. Put them both on my team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I have a, a Zoom question. Anybody here know about the audio settings? Um, apparently, there are settings where you can cancel background noise yeah. and it can make people cut in and out. I don't know how to adjust that under under on the bottom left where it says mute there's a little up arrow right uh then at the very bottom of that is audio settings oh yeah so right are. but what do i choose suppress background noise there are there's no opt out it's there's just auto, auto low medium high. or high right and and you can scroll down so what do i choose auto what's the question you want it to be the, the highest or the lowest? I don't know. I don't know what it means. There's no background noise. Uh, then just do auto. I'm just on auto. auto. Well, there's something that says echo cancellation under music and professional audio. I don't have that. Don't, that must be. You have, to, you have to be special to have that. For those of you watching on YouTube right now, you oh. get a bonus Zoom lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have to say that's not very clear in the description. It says suppress background noise, and then it has the four options. And then parenthetically, it says faint background noise, computer fan, pen taps, typing door box. Does that mean that's what it suppresses, or that's the, the lowest it'll? So, like, what is? I don't know. It should have. I think that's what it suppresses. I think high would cover all the other ones. So, what's typing and like typing seems kind of low, and door box seems kind of loud. I don't understand why those would be together. Yeah. Well, I'll try and hopefully, hopefully people can hear me. Rob, please do let me know if, um, or it sounds very, it sounds very good right now. Okay, good. I, I changed it. Where are you, Rob uh, Susan Palmer? Uh, I am thinking? in Salinas, as you can see. <laughs> no, and no, somehow, not, somehow the not, Su not Susan Rob Gerbic, Rob Susan Palmer. Uh, oh, it's very confusing. Yeah, I'm out of town. I'm on my laptop. And so Rob's taking over everything. Yay, Susan Rob Gerbic. I'll be home tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm going to get a bite to eat then, since um, there's they're going to be a minute or two. Okay. Could you run something down to Mark for me? Okay. <laughs> Susan and Rob, your man and wife, are you? No. Is that how that works? No. We have different last names. Brother and That's sister. <laughs> no, he's in, he's in New Jersey. He's in New Jersey. So you're just totally separate people. Just with the same. <laughs> just not today. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Tell me the oh, truth. Oh, no. <laughs> There's nothing going on. <laughs> We're, he's just running the. He's, well, according he's pretending to, Wicked, to be me today. According to the Wikipedia uh, uh, investigation of about four years ago, uh, Susan is my sock puppet. So <laughs> I'm the puppet master, and Susan is mm -hmm. my sock puppet. Yeah. Oh, they haven't given him oh, him back sorry. to the team to talk I a little longer. You were actually. So, yeah. so Susan, Susan's on a road trip, and uh, so I'm handling the Susan role for tonight. Is the story. And Susan is playing on a team, just like everybody else. I've never played on a team before, Larry. Team this one. is really weird. Uh, I have no, no controls. No, you have played. Oh, when I, oh, no. When I Normally, did it, I've run the game. Normally, from... you don't. But you have at least three times, right? Yeah, yeah. but this is the first time I've ever had just, I'm just a player. <laughs> You're totally free. Odd. You're totally free. I'm free. Free. I got to help choose a team name and everything. So I, I did figure out where all your stuff goes. And, and so I'm up, I'm caught up. Now. I appreciate that you put everything back nice and neat, Rob, so that I can have it when I get back. Yeah. Keep it clean. Put it, put it in alphabetical order. 
No. Make sure all the fonts are the same. Oh, you mean the other sheet? Yes. Oh no, it's it's gorgeous now. There's the same number of spaces between each one. The same fonts in each one. There's no, no OCD problems, huh? No. Not That's fine. All. I don't mind letting somebody like you deal with it. That it's going to look nice and oh, neat so when I, I get that question. form back. Which question are we on? Number two or three? Um, they're they're on round two. Oh, okay, good, good. So I, uh, Robin told me that um, Robin Welsh said she's at her HOA meeting. She's running it, and she says that it's droning on. She says, "Text her when you need me to pop in with her questions." She's on round four, I think, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she oh, says, oh, "I had a double, uh, double, double uh, uh, booking in my calendar." So, oh yeah, you had the your book book. Um, Book, yeah. Um, so at five o'clock, five o'clock, uh, mountain time. Uh, I could either go with the CFIC uh, uh, yearly uh, thing, or I could go to FICA and uh, uh, talk about the insecurity or um, stuff like that. And then after that, it was a uh, uh, book club for 1632 or with you guys. But I'm and we win. Many <laughs> options. Yeah, Zoom you know. has made life very, very interesting for people there. <laughs> Their lives are very busy have, now. Have you guys on Zoom read all the time? Hmm? Have you read 1632? No, uh, Adrian told me that was their book for this month. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the help, Rob. It's a sci-fi. <laughs> what are you talking? Hi, hey, Rob. Rob. You didn't help Thanks, us with Susan, the, Rob. the questions. We predict we're only no team's going to get more than three right. Yeah, the I mean, most. I, 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 I gave the most. I gave you. I gave, right oh, sorry, I gave you what my knew, what I knew, which wasn't a lot. But then there was a faux pas because I had to go get Deborah from another room, and they had their answers all up on the screen. <laughs> oh, that's and as, they, as they pointed out that would have been not fair if i went back to my other room yeah, oh, okay. that's that's why i didn't return yeah so they don't have the right answers either the category is the most I, love we have I don't know what the Palmer answers are susan rob gerbic i love it <laughs> i just noticed your name yeah yeah I know. All right, larry was and his background is my background right, of my house he looks like he's in my he looks like he's you in my need to have right a space now. background behind you susan okay like, i can find with. maybe i can find yeah. something yeah, because we're, uh, we're going to take the picture after this round. Is that when we do it? Yeah, after this yeah. round. Yeah, yeah. Susan, you put a Star Wars one because, yeah, that's good because you look like you have the Star Wars hairdo with those earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> the Star Wars hairdo. It's the Star Wars earmuffs are called Leia buttons. Oh, my God. Hey, Larry's Leia buttons. Off. Larry's off. Well, they're, the not, they're not even earmuffs. They're, uh, you know, headphones. Larry's off the Barca lounger or whatever it is. You're usually on or the couch. Oh, I know. Yeah. Because well, he's reading a book. My my son is working nights, and uh, uh, I couldn't be down there at five o'clock, and uh, got up around that time, so I had to be upstairs. So, is it nine o'clock by you now? I'm looking at the clock up there. Is yeah, it, so, so, you're, so you're an yeah, hour it's about difference. About to be nine okay. for him. Okay, yeah. I, I, I can never. I, I'm Mountain Time, and ever uh, and Susan is and Rob. I'm, Pacific. Oh, Rob is. Rob's on East Coast. Yeah, it's eleven o'clock. No, I'm not. You can say I still got the sun out. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was really surprised when I looked at the map. I did not. For, I've always thought of Colorado as being farther west than it is, but it's sort of right in the middle, because uh, you, uh, you guys are farther from Colorado, like from Denver, than I am in Chicago, and I, it really surprised me. I, I had no. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is that, Alan? That's farther. Uh, Denver. Denver and where? And, else? and Denver and and well, I was looking at Denver and Sacramento, but and certainly oh. you guys, you know, is is farther than from from Chicago to uh, to Denver. You know, I I, I yeah. just always I always just thought of Denver as being farther west. You know. Yeah. The, 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 the states the, in the west are so much bigger than the states in the east. Oh, Have yes. you lived in both places? Yes. <laughs> I. I discovered that the distance from Detroit to Chicago is shorter than the distance from Reno, Nevada to Las Vegas. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah. I, I, 
I was yeah, those western states are gigantic. Yes. Yeah, I drove from, well, I live on the coast of California. I drove from here to almost to Denver. And it, if, if I, I did it once in like one drive, like without stopping. And it was, I think it was 20, so it was almost a full 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And, but I also drove from there to Chicago and it didn't take as long. And it was a you straight You get path. from anywhere in Rhode Island to anywhere in Rhode Island in less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> even with the traffic. Well, that's the only problem. If you go through Providence or near the airport, there's traffic. Oh, if there might be oh. some people's convoy there. And and there's also there's also a lot of uh, if you get way out towards the wooded areas, there's a lot of windy roads. Is everybody so, back? I think everyone's back. We're, all back. So we're ready yeah. for your answers. I want my answers. I, I learned something this week. I. I I found out that Russia is actually more than twice the size of Canada. It's big, isn't it? It's, big. it's huge. It's huge. Okay, so people had more trouble with, with this than I thought they would. <laughs> so, okay. Get my little thing. I, I heard rumbles of a lighthouse. I did too. <laughs> I did Ouch. too. That's the most dangerous job, lighthouse worker. <laughs> <laughs> It is the most boring job. <laughs> Why is this doing this? Okay, so, all right. So the answer to one, I can't get my things to come up at the same time for some reason. Um, so the most dangerous job in 2021 by fatality rate uh, is logging. So- Yeah, we got that right. 70 logging. per 100,000 workers. Number two is aircraft pilots and flight engineers, and number three is roofers. Yeah, roofers. I didn't think or of or, or in the Midwest, roofers. I don't know. Yeah, fishers, and then they're in there somewhere, but I didn't, I didn't capture that that far down. But it, they well, the are world's in. deadliest job is a lie. Is a what? That TV show, the world's deadliest job is a lie. Oh yeah, yeah the, the crab fish yeah. Alaskan crab, crab fishes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's more theatrical. We knew that we'd seen the commercial. It's more yeah. theatrical to show the ships with the water and people like almost being swept to deck and somebody just falling off a you know a single story roof. What's that? Yeah. The world's deadliest job says the world's deadly the deadliest catch. Catch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Deadliest right. catch. Okay, yeah. number two, the thing that you can eat that has the most cholesterol is beef brain. Oh. 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 Did anybody well, get that right? No. It's got no. three three thousand one hundred milligrams per hundred grams. Number oh, two, that's 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 has anybody like, actually Wait a minute, how can you have more than 100? Yeah. How can you have 3,000 in 100? 3,000 milligrams. Oh, milligrams, milligrams, milligrams. I'm sorry, milligrams. And egg yolk is number two at 1,085. Uh, so this is even half as much. Uh, um, this one, for some reason, people had uh, issue with two. Wait, 185? That's like 20x? No, 1, no 1,000. Oh, 1,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. For a reason. The most expensive man-made thing is the International Space Station. A lot Yay, of uh, we got that right. Faith. Thank you, Faith. They, uh, they estimated as- uh, Most expensive man-made thing is the International Space Station. $150 billion. How much is that in um, rubles? How much is that in yeah, rubles? Well, not more now. A whole lot. <laughs> there, there aren't enough zeros in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the loudest sound, and this one I'm going to be a little bit flexible because there were kind of two answers. Um, everybody's kind of accepted that Krakatoa. Krakatoa. Um, and, mm. But of course, nobody really was close enough to measure it um, in 1883. Um, but they, they estimated it between 189 and 202 decibels at three miles, but none of, nobody was three miles away that, that, that survived anyway. Mm. Um, or, or the other answer that was acceptable is the Saturn V rocket, which nice. has actually been measured at 204 decibels. Hmm. So either yeah. one of those can be right, because you know they don't really know for Krakatoa, but it's so close. It could have been more, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, the coldest place on Earth, Eastern Arctic pla Plateau. The, um, the temperature that they um, measured was minus 94 celsius or minus 137.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. 
Wow. Oh, that's oh, so seven. close. Can we have close. a plus or minus 10? <laughs> Please. Plus or minus that's seven. amazing. Plus or that's minus amazing. five. Damn and and that, you know, that works with either one. So I, I, I don't remember which one, but one of them, you get a little more cushion. Yeah, Celsius, you get oh, more yeah. leeway. You get more, a little more leeway with Celsius. So if you went out to take a smoke, would you come back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking will kill you. <laughs> okay, the most watched movie was, and I didn't see anybody getting this, I don't think, maybe somebody did, was Titanic. I said oh, that. Yeah. We did. My team didn't believe well, okay, that was good. my first guess, but no. Titanic. Yeah, I, I, I talked to Wizard of Oz. Yep, yep. Way to go. Number, <laughs> number two is E.T., number three was Wizard of Oz, and number four was Star Wars. Is this in, is this in America or worldwide? I think this is everywhere, like on everything. Okay. Um, the, the U.S. profit with the most in donations in 2020 was United Way Worldwide. Oh. Um, oh, that that makes sense. Two, and I couldn't find how much that was. The article only said how much the Salvation Army got, which, and they were second with 1.8 billion. So it was more than 1.8 billion. Mm. So what that else? makes sense, S C E N T S. Yeah. Um, okay. The slipperiest substance, and I, I was kind of thinking maybe that we'd have more physicists here tonight, but I guess not, um, is. Um, its initials is BAM. It's uh, a revolutionary material of boron, aluminum, and magnesium. Um, oh, that was my second choice. Oh, yeah, everyone yeah, got well, that, right? Everyone <laughs> got that one? <laughs> uh, I thought someone for sure would have heard of it. But anyway, um, the stickiest natural substance is actually um, a uh, bacteria produces this. It, and anything that's around this answer is acceptable because I, I, they didn't really say the name of this. So one. tree sap bacteria. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Colobacter crescentus. It's a harmless bacteria that lives in river streams and water pipes. It attaches itself to surfaces with long slender stalk tipped with chains of sugar molecules <laughs> that are three times as strong as commercial super glue products. It can withstand mm. a force of up to five tons per square inch. Do they wow. do they hold barnacles to ships? Yeah, that's uh, what we were. Uh, that's what I put. Barnacles used. They're probably they're probably cousins. Do they hold construction workers to girders? It, if you had like a bacterium somewhere in your answer, that would be with it lives in the water. That would be no. Bar no oh, bar barnacle. We had barnacle holders. <laughs> okay. Um, the number 10, the state with the highest percentage of its surface area occupied by water is Michigan. Yes. 0.5%. Oh. And the state with the highest total area of water is Alaska. Yes. Alaska. It has 94,743 square miles of surface water in Alaska. But didn't it's a really have, big we have that question. Didn't we have that as an answer for something not too long ago? It's possible. Oh, shoreline, the most shoreline. We maybe did some water yeah. questions before. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, so Minnesota misrepresents itself. Huh? The land they of say 10,000 lakes. They don't say they're, they're big lakes. Well, and it doesn't yeah. say the lakes what, are. What about inside. Florida Everglades? Does that count? <laughs> well, I'm sure they, they count. But they weren't <laughs> highest. It's Florida okay. it doesn't count. Period. Because it's all in one place. In Michigan, they say you can't go more than ten miles in any direction from any spot without hitting some sort of water. Yeah. Are Are you posting the answers? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post them. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's see if you guys did as badly. As I think the most people are gonna get is a three. Um, all right. Yeah. Let's oh. see if that prediction holds. Starting with not Washington, just easy to say words. Four. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, all right. Good wrong, job, Kevin. Good job. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Tied for right. first. All right. Next, we're smart enough to pump our own gas. Three. Three. Uh, <laughs> we're in the lead. And uh, let's see. With nine right now, it must be Thursday. I can never get the hang of Thursdays. Uh, two. No. Oh. oh. Commandingly. Oh, you're lead. You're leading. Okay. And uh, so we have two possible teams that can pull ahead here, starting with cruise, cruise, convoy to Cancun. Five. 
Wow. Wow. Five. And let's see. Did Moscow McDonald's MIA get five or more? One. Oh. oh. <laughs> One, two, an three, average four, five. Of three. I like it. <laughs> an average of three. <laughs> How did we wow. get five? I thought we only had four. You what didn't our, come back. You didn't come we back changed into the room a bunch of answers, and we oh, got all, almost okay. all the ones we changed. We got correct. I'm happy to, to know that. I had so wow. much influence on that. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Which Rob? Three. How bad was um? What was the average score on this? Three. 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 And what was on Lighthouses and and Punch and Judy? I have to go look when that when that was. And you could you could do it later. You just too. use Control Find on the on the on the category past questions put put well, punch or put judy and and it should go and it'll tell you what well we're... the okay. average the average oh. for lighthouses was about zero okay <laughs> so punch, like two. punch and judy was on 10 22 20 wow Roger ebert was less let's than see. two as well so let's yeah. see 10 22, yeah the roger 20. ebert one was like what was it one team got one or did you kitty <laughs> Or something like that. Wow, Ben! If we'd have specified our answer in Celsius, we would have gotten it right. Okay, so the... <laughs> we'd have just gone with the number I converted for Celsius and done, gone with negative ninety. We'd have been within five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! I suspect well, we I'm... would have too. We weren't off by that much. We I don't know. This is going to take too long. To right. We'll figure it let's out. Keep, we'll figure it out later. All so right. Let's let's take a group picture. Caspian, where are you? Okay, so who's got a setup that can handle picking multiple screens? I do not. There's Caspian. Somebody take a picture. My internet's been having issues, so I'm trying to keep the video off. Okay, well, just be there for the picture. Who's going who's gonna to take it? I can, do, I can do it. I can do okay. it. Okay. Wait, wait. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Whoops. Okay, everybody. Smile. Okay. Got it? Got it. Got it. Yeah, I should. Yep. I should have put a weed on my hair for uh, in honor of Avi. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I just sent that to me when he had a chance, Richard. Okay, take five yeah. minutes. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night, Terry. Bye bye. Terry, are you leaving? Oh. Rob, I will need a team, please. You will. So said, now we'll said have Karen to Arajo. And we just lost, we just lost our teammate, I guess. We don't have very many just say, at the beginning. We only have three. We'll, well, we'll only have two. No. And you can we'll have, have her. Three. No, we'll have three. Did Susan disappear? So oh, Karen, no. Karen and Larry need teams. Mm, okay. Actually, I think I'm going to bail. I'm I'm starting to flag too. So. Jeff. Yeah, no, sorry, but no, it, uh, as always, great to see everybody. And like, thanks for joining. Yeah. Feel better, Jeff. Thank you. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try to get a little more sleep this week, hopefully. All right. All right. Feel better, yeah, everyone. See you. Okay. Is Vincent Take still here? Vincent was making noises about leaving early. Where's Vincent? Oh, Rob. I'm so glad I'm retired. I don't care whether I guess not here. This is Vincent. Did Vincent drop out? I don't see Vincent. He said he was dropping out after this round, too. Yeah. Or he's gone. Okay. So I'm trying to mark to keep track of that. This might depend where I put somebody. Let's see. Well, those lucky people who haven't disappeared you can play a dice game. What did you say, Richard? There's lucky people who didn't disappear. We can play a dice game. Ah, mm. time for a dice game. Dice game. It's been a while since we've played the dice game. I've got two. Well, I'm going to have to take Susan's position. Nine. I'll just say five for all. You just say five. I've got two die this week. There we go. Oh, D10. How nice. many numbers on them? Ten. Six. Yeah, they're, they're both D10s. One is a lovely blue color. One is a very nice yellow color. How many sides? Ten? Ten. Ten on each. Oh, okay. Here's the contraption. Right. So you get to, you get to, it's a slightly different this, this time. You put in the chat, you put B for blue and then a number, and then Y for yellow and a number. 
Oh, we're not just doing the total? Nope. B form, okay. Yes, six and six. Yes, they're starting to come in now in the chat. Four and four. All right. I'm going to go B9. An eight and a three. And Y, six. One and a two, and nine and a six. They're all coming in. All right, here we go. So the first one will be yellow. Yellow is four. It's so close. The next one is blue. Blue is six. Did anybody get the mm. I, I got the blue. And the blue. All right. The first roll. Second roll coming up. Second roll coming up so you can have another guess. You can guess the blue and the yellow. I'll let it ride. Let it ride. Yeah, I'll let mine ride. <laughs> let it ride. All right. I'll roll them together. Here they go. The blue is six and the yellow is five. Oh. And meeting there somewhere. And the last one. The last one. Here we go. Susan will be sad she missed out. They start on five. The yellow is two and the blue is seven. Not as soon as it comes back, I we'll tell her to roll Not five, one. five, five. <laughs> she comes back and this is what the sound looks like. Uh, Everyone tell Susan it rolled five, 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 three times. <laughs> just out of interest, this last <laughs> one blue, nine, yellow, ten. So there we go. Those people who have missed the dice. I thing. had B9. Uh, Okay, I'm back. It was B, B9. I had but the B9, other yeah. ones were five, 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 and five, and five, and five. Remarkable. And five. <laughs> you missed we out, Susan. The nice game, Susan, numbers came up and up. you weren't here. Oh, figures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Nope. That's okay. So, so Susan, this what? is it, Susan. You know, I said I wrote to you and I said I bought a new microphone. Uh -huh. mm. All sound the same oh. to me. They all sound great. Sexy. Susan, what numbers would you have chosen? Ironically, uh, uh, surprisingly, fives came up every time. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think I would have chosen five. Yeah, and these sorry. came in the post today from England. Look at him. Oh. Sony, all the way from England. <laughs> Fancy pants. They feel, they feel nice and the sound is great. Okay, so um, is there, how do I put these new people in a breakout room? I can't do that until they open the room, right? Yeah, that when you that? open the rooms, you can uh, put them in a breakout room, but pain. not until. Don't get excited. Yeah, it's a pain. Why don't they allow that? Okay, yeah, you got to do your announcements. Hmm. Only three minutes in. Okay, well, so it might be only two minutes in, but it looks like we're all back. Everybody's back except Caspian. Caspian's got his video off. Video's off. No, Alan's not there. I'm here. Karen's Richard, here. here's my, my tiny microphone, so I can find a way to... It's, it's only that big. <laughs> <laughs> it plugs into your cell phone, and it actually picks up music pretty well. Oh, nice. Five nice. bucks at... Uh, Five bucks. Uh, at one of the stores, um, Five Below, it's called. It's got a little wire. We've running. got a Five Below. I yep. never. They I sell. went in. And I said, "What the heck is this?" My kids they love sell. that place. Yeah, they it's, sell this tiny it. little microphone that plugs into a cell phone, store. and you can actually speak into it. it. Works pretty cool. Okay, so let's do the announcements then. Uh, let's see who's first up. How about Mr. Saunders from Down Under? Hello, yes, coming up this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast, episode number 701, we have a story about uh, people here in Australia taking advantage of the death of one of our most famous sporting legends. He died at only 50, 53, I think he was, of a heart attack, but they're claiming he died of COVID vaccination, of course. Oh. We have the Australian Skeptics newsletter read by Adrian Hill. We've got more from the Book of Tim, looking at articles from the Australian Skeptics magazine, The Skeptic. And this week, Trove looks at classic paranormal UFOs and psychics. 
all that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. I'm pumped because everybody came up with such clever things to say for his 700th and I just had a really boring, like, great job. No, it's great, Susan. I was very pleased to have it. Well, thank you. You're very eloquent, but I couldn't think of a damn thing to say. And then I heard everybody else and how funny they were. I was like, fine. I should have thought about it. That that Australian um, cricket player who just died. Did it make news in America? Yeah. I don't know anything about it. He he died about... He died about a block away from our house. He, he was visiting. Oh, no. He was visiting our island, and right down the street, he rented a villa. Wow. And wow. Yeah, I actually saw that report too. Yeah. Now, to oh, put into con- the context, he was hmm. regarded as the best that has ever been in the game at what he did worldwide. And cricket, mm-hmm. remember, is the second most popular sporting game in the world. No, so, that can't better be. than so WD Grace. <clears throat> yeah. More than exactly. curling? <laughs> so, More popular yeah. than football? Yeah, Early. yeah. It's, uh, no, football, as in it's soccer, is the most popular game in the world, then cricket. So you can so imagine... I think that, it was in America. I think I did yeah. hear it. It was on CNN. So you can imagine... Yeah, the news. One of the... If not the best, certainly one of the top three or four best players ever dies early. You can imagine that's just huge news. Yeah. He, was 50, he was like 52. <laughs> About 52, 53, yeah. And all, and all the psychics predicted that for this year, right? <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that. I actually write about it in the next issue of the Skeptic Magazine, this very thing. Huh. Yeah. There was a, they, um, our uh, became very so, Jamie, Jamie, did you go down to the, did, did you see the fire engines and everything come down or paramedics? I noticed it because it, the day before he came to Thailand on a vacation, he was having chest pains. Mm. And yeah. um, he came. It was the day that he came. He was here for one day, and Richard, um, he died. But they took Richard, one more tiny, one more tiny microphone <laughs> plugs into your cell phone, and it bends. Ooh, hey, nice. So what were you but, saying, but Jamie? There's a, but there's a big controversy because um, it took a long time for the ambulance to actually like get to where he was, and they didn't have one of those. Um, well, they hired what do you call the AES system? They didn't have no, an AED. AED. No. They, they didn't have an ambulance. They didn't have one. Uh, ambulance. No. We have one right so now. I thought our office where I work. I know. So a lot of people on the aisle are a little bit concerned about the, you know, the emergency care in case you yeah. have a heart attack. Yeah. So that's what they're saying. But okay, so you know. um back to the promotions. Richard, you're uh, not going to mention our appearance on the thinking atheist. I'm putting it in the chat. So Richard, put and I, the chat. Yeah. I mean, I, I did that interview. We did that interview. What sometime last year? I forgot all about it. Oh, so that and was only it was only like five weeks ago. It wasn't that long ago. Only five. Was weeks. it okay? Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it premiered uh, the other day. Uh, it was Richard great. and I were guests. Seth Andrews interviewed both of us about yes. the project, the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out, by the way. That was sweet. And Very by good. the by, the, tomorrow it. I am going to be a guest on Kenny Biddle's show. He just asked me a few hours ago. Uh, we're going to be oh. talking about the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. So get some more airtime. Cool. I'll try to watch it. <laughs> I, I'll sh- we'll see what I'm doing. Okay. Well, so... I, I get, because of that mm-hmm. appearance, I got an, I've got an email from somebody in the states from the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Mississippi State University, who heard me and then re- let me know that he uses part of my work on the power balance in one of his courses. Oh, really nice. oh, cool. yeah. University of Minnesota, cool. Mississippi? Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Hmm. Okay, Kyle, what's coming up on the Data Skeptic? Hey, hey, this week on Data Skeptic, we're continuing our little mini series on clustering. I talked to a researcher who made some algorithmic improvements to a classic algorithm called K-means. We talk all about what he did and what that improvement means. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's this week on Data Skeptic. Yeah. Data Skeptic. Anything on uh, Go Fact Yourself coming up, Mike? Mike doesn't do it. Oh, that was that was Jim that did that. Jim. Oh, Jim. Sorry. Yeah, why don't Come you on, Rob. You only have one job here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, I'm to be Susan. Max Fine. Uh, so it's a mistake you could make. <gasps> okay. Anybody else? No. Uh, Susan? Susan, Susan, Rob, Susan, Rob, Susan Palmer. <laughs> um, you got something going? 
Mark just did an interview for the guy that I did the interview for on Psychics. What was it? I can't even remember the name of the podcast. So that was last. So Mark just did that one. So that's going to be coming up. The guy, well, I shouldn't say I'm recording, but then, <laughs> and he also has another interview he's doing tomorrow morning, I think, for, for a Jewish um, group that has having a lot of problems with psychics, believe it or not, that are, that are, I don't know, I don't really know what it is, but they, some group of, it's a Jewish group that is saying they're having a lot of problems with people in psychics. So they reached out to Mark to get some advice. <laughs> and so that's interesting. Mm. I'm, I'm going to be hopefully in late April, early May, I'm going to go see Faith and Romero. Oh cool. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. I'm gonna go see. Well, I'm the plan is, is I'm I'm gonna be going to Washington, DC. And I'm also gonna be going to CFI in Buffalo. And Ooh. I also am gonna go to North Carolina. And I don't Ooh. know what order to do it in. I really want to get to Philadelphia. I I I sent an email to um Paul Offit and he said he'd love to have me come out there. And he was trying to get David, whatever his name is, to he says, reach out to this guy, David, so-and-so. And I reached out to him, but the email uh, bounced. But I think it's the same guy that um, runs the FAT group, the FACT group. David? No, that's Eric. Well, he gave me somebody's David. name by David, and the email bounced. Mm -hmm. But So I'd like to come out there, but FACT isn't doing in-live person no. things no, until the yeah. summer. But they said they might be able to arrange something. But I, I have to have somebody hurry up and do it if they want me to come to Philadelphia. Or anywhere else I need to get on it because I got to get this booked. So if somebody wants me to come out to the East Coast, I need to hear quickly. But at the moment, it's Buffalo, Washington, D.C. and uh, somewhere in North Carolina at Lovely. Faith and Romero's yeah. house. <laughs> and if somebody wants to come with yeah. me, that'd be fun to have a road trip. Yeah, I'm still in my bunker mostly. <laughs> I'll, I'll come with you, Susan. Yeah, I don't know if you can get over there. <laughs> I don't want to share a hotel room with you, Richard. I think people would talk. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> we don't okay, need drama. So, um, <laughs> I think most people were here last time I, I mentioned this, but in case anybody wasn't, and not this weekend, but next weekend, I'm going to be interviewing Robert Bartholomew oh, yeah. for Havana Syndrome for the aforementioned group FACT in Philadelphia, and that's going to be a live stream. And you can register for is that? at tinyurl.com Havana syndrome it's, it's Havana in the, oh. interview. what I want to know is with yeah it's in the chat yeah. what I want to know is really important if Havana syndrome is real why isn't anybody discussing it with Russia doing this to Ukraine <laughs> yeah right if it's the, yeah. if it's such a huge thing why hasn't somebody done it to Right. Why isn't it actually Zinsky. used in combat? Is what you mean? Yes. Well, why isn't it being used? Nobody's complaining about it. No. Well, potentially but they say Russia's doing it. Have a limited it. range of effectiveness if, mm. if that were right. Were true. Mm. Uh huh. Because uh, your bad uh, energy uh, uh, threw it off. Uh -huh. Nobody's talking get, about it right now. Did you get my photograph, Susan? Oh, I haven't looked. I'm I'm on a laptop. I'm, I don't. I'm. Oh, it's hard okay. to get the it's, screen. It's there. It's there. Rob. I have a class. Oh, yeah, there it is. Thank you. I have a class in, skept uh, sci in scientific skepticism. And today, just a few hours ago, they were talking about the Havana thing. Can I give them this link so that they can? Yeah, sure. It's for anyone, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, okay. of course. Where, where, where I've gotten, I copied the link, but when and where would this happen? All right, so the link opens the registration page, which has all the information, but it is okay. not this Saturday, the following Saturday at 2 p.m. Philadelphia time. Okay, I will send that to them. Okay. Um, okay, so are we ready for round three? I do believe James has the powers. Do you, James? James has got the power. Got the powers? Okay, right. Kevin has the powers. All right. Okay. Oh, James so, is reading this one. Okay. So, James, what is your category? It is on medicine. Ooh, medicine. Ooh, so, three like two homeo one. homeopathy and uh, Reiki. Yeah. Oh, three, two, one. You're all muted. Unmute yourself, James. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, 
and actually, I'm kind of glad that uh, uh, one person isn't here today because she'd get 100% on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyhow, in medicine, what are commonly called widow makers? Uh, number two, what is the APGAR scale? Number three, how many bones are in an adult human plus or minus 2%? Uh, number four, what is the largest organ in the body, in the human body? Number five, about what percentage of exhaled air is oxygen, plus or minus 1% of the total uh, volume? Number six, what are the basic types of nerves? Number seven, when we lose weight, how is the weight eliminated? Number eight, this nerve shares its root with a synonym for a traveler. Number nine, what is its basic function? And number 10, how many vertebrae are in an adult human? Okay. So number 10 is within 50? With what? Number 10 is within, within 50? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be a little plus more precise than that. Within plus or minus zero. <laughs> so this would have been a really great review for uh, Isabella, huh? That's what I was kind of hoping. <laughs> I, I wanted her on one hand. On the other hand, I didn't want her here because she's got 100%. <laughs> she better get 100%. She would be embarrassed if she didn't get 100%. Yeah, well, so that, that, the best. that's the other thing I thought of as well. It's like, uh, but uh, so anyhow, any questions? So, so if she shows up, she's on our team, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I know a good portion of these, Deborah. I read medical records for a living. I, I figured that you'd be pretty good. Oh. <laughs> All right, no other questions? Go to your rooms. I don't have a room. Oh, there we go. Karen is going to... Thank you.
That's a spooky thing, Kevin, on yours. Very spooky. Oh. Kevin, send, there's a shadow person in your house. I, I want to send that to Kenny Biddle or Ben Radford. <laughs> yeah, really? There's a there's a shadow person on Kevin's screen. That's what we were saying. Okay, everybody back, I think. There was. Oh, yep. Brand. All right. All right, James. Give him the bad news. Okay. Good news. In medicine, what are commonly called widow makers? That is a uh, partial or complete blockage of the left anterior descending artery. How much of that do we have to get? Did to we get right enough in? of that, Karen? Yes, we did. Yep. Left anterior descending artery of the heart. That's not the aorta. Oh, okay. It's definitely no, not the aorta. aorta. <laughs> Entirely different. Do we need and left? What if we have descending artery that leads to the heart? Uh, uh, left anterior it's... descending artery is the is, is the correct term, term mm -hmm. the yeah. LED. Mm -hmm. So we have to have all of that, I guess. Yeah, left anterior no descending. About left. Okay. Uh, Bummer. We were so close. You don't close. have a right anterior descending. You have a right coronary artery. Well, then we don't need the clarifying <laughs> left right. the because if it's the artery. only one that's descending <laughs> heart artery, then that should be sufficient. That's my point. <laughs> the term is uh, left anterior descending artery. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't like uh, it, but I'll accept it. <laughs> Number two, the APGAR score is a <laughs> scoring system doctors and nurses use to assess newborns one minute, five minutes after they're born. Yay. Uh, Could I recognize that? The so, APGAR scale. So newborn aliveness <laughs> scale is pretty good then, right? <laughs> <laughs> newborn alive scale? Yeah. It's yeah. Enough. All right. We'll, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> Number three, uh, how many bones are in the uh, body? Six, right? 206. Or yes. yes. 200 bones and six oh. auditory ossicles. I'll accept from 202 to 210. 206. If we get it exactly right, we get a bonus point, right? <laughs> to make up for the you, you get bright LED. <laughs> uh, number four. What is the largest uh, organ in the body? Skin. And uh, skin, yes. Mm -hmm. That's not in the body, though. Yeah, I had a problem with that. <laughs> but we uh, figured that's what we were going for. I thought it was a trick yeah, question. No. We, got it. In the body. we got it, so I won't complain. Yeah. Um, five. Well, uh, um, what? Is the percentage of exhaled oxygen? It's sixteen percent plus or minus one, so I'd accept fifteen to seventeen. This is more than we thought. Oh, we got it. Easy? I'm remembering wrong how much oxygen is in the air then. Twenty-one percent. Oh yeah, I did remember wrong. I I had dyslexic there. I thought it was twelve. <laughs> I did. Yeah. What are the three basic types of nerves? Um, you didn't say three. Uh, what are the, the oh the yeah. uh, the, the uh, autonomic nerves? The autonomic nerves, which are the uh, nerves that control the uh, involuntary or partially, like the heart rate, uh, blood pressure, etc. Motor nerves; those are ones that uh, control your muscle movement, and sensory nerves, which are the ones that relay uh, nerve impulses from your uh, nerves sensors, nerve receptors back to the uh, brain. I don't usually argue, but you did not say three, and you said so, types so, of nerves. So, so get, I said, so what get, are the basic nerves? Yes. I so said, affer we said afferent and efferent, which is the types of Gail, nerves. Gail, I, I told James already, I'm making an executive decision here because this broke the rules. It's one answer per question. So I would say if you get any of the three, you get a point. James didn't like that because he said the trivia doesn't work that way. But this is not a whataboutism game. We do one answer per question. 
Okay. okay. Number seven. It's tough. Well, how would that work for the Three Stooges? <laughs> I, I like, do we give ourselves a point or not, Susan Rob? Yes. Early, Larry, Mo, Shemp, Joe, they'll all be correct. Okay. Number seven. Uh, this is commonly misunderstood by uh, even doctors. Uh, lipids are eliminated via the carbon dioxide that we exhale and the water that we excrete through uh, uh, urine, uh, yeah. through sweat. Is, it, is exhaling or mm. urinating breathing. both accepted or which? Breathing is the answer. Breathing is not. Breathing, uh, breathing would qualify. Okay. Yeah. You okay, so the burn for energy and waste by kidneys would be okay yeah. from what you said. We said waste by kidneys. The kidneys excrete the yeah. waste. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I was saying. Uh, there's a real good uh, post link on that here. The the I just want to point out to our group that, uh, yes, it was both of the things we were arguing about, but I was more right than the water. <laughs> CO2 was the main yeah, CO. Yeah, CO2 and what was it? Water, yes, but it's almost two to one, two to one, more than two to one, almost three to one. Number eight, the Vegas yeah. number eight is the Vegas third from the Latin oh, word Vegas oh. wandering or strain. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you, Faith. Gotcha. And what is its primary function? Is, to take your um, money in the slot machine. It regulates your body being alive. It, uh, it regulates the critical aspects of human physiology, including the heart rate, blood pressure, sweating, digestion, and speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, anything along that, those lines are correct. Um, so, so I have seen this to be used just like one would expect with something that's not extremely well understood by paranormal people because I got a card in the mail to go to a seminar where they're going to do this thing with your vagus nerve or that was going to do all these magical things for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, what is, I mean, what, what uh, there is a vasovagal response. Mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. If you ever get bent down and get back up really quickly, that's what's happening. Yeah. You're irritating that nerve. Mm. Mine's been messed up for the last three months. Oh, it, it was it was Deepak Chopra-esque, believe me, and what the claims were about that. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, that's like uh, Dr. Uh, Oz. Yep. And the last one is how many uh, vertebrae? 34 feet. Ah, 33. Dang. In an adult? In an adult, yes. So what? how many are what? there per, like, how many what? cervical vertebra, thoracic, and lumbar? There's uh, seven uh, cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic, five, uh, let me. Right, I don't think they always no. view in adults. Uh, By the time a person becomes an adult, most adults have only 24 vertebrae because of some vertebrae at the bottom of the end of the spine fused together during growth and development. But Ooh. not all. We, we have 33 to start with. Okay. But the question asked. Was mention adult. Oh. Specifically yeah. mention what adult was the human. phrasing on the question? How many vertebrae in an adult human is the question? Well, an adult healthy human, because there could also be, um, you know, um, I don't know what you call it, you know, the standard's 33. The basket case guy had none. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're going to assume a normal, healthy person. Well, a normal the adult basket would have case only 24. Had vertebrae. Most adults have only 24. <laughs> there are 33 vertebrae spines in the, there are bones in the spine here. Let me Just pose. breaking in for a minute, Susan. Robin's not here yet. You're going to text her? I don't know if she is there. No, Kevin, we watched Basket Case. So I did have vertebrae. Okay. <laughs> Good movie, though, huh? Uh, yeah, we got to make ourselves watch the sequels because apparently it gets even more fucked up. He has babies. <laughs> yes. Did, did yes. They, I have to see them. New, I read about them. I haven't seen them. Basket in one of them? Hmm? Did he get a new basket in one of the sequels? We don't know. I 
I don't know if he gets a new basket. <laughs> that would be nice, though. I thought the doctor's names in it were pretty funny. Doctor Needleman. Needleman. <laughs> the scene with the with the lady getting all the scalpels in her face is hysterical. <laughs> okay, so did, did you guys and laughed and laughed? Did you guys come to a decision? Uh, what's the correct answer for that last? Oh, one? it's tough. It's we we are born with thirty three, but the the time we're right, what do you think, James? Sources are saying twenty four. Uh, the link says thirty three. I'm happy with that. I can provide you half a dozen links. That That's why I use the term vertebrae, not bones. Right, but that's what these are saying about that's 24 not, that's vertebrae. That's not for an adult, though. Hello, Robin. You're about to be up. We're arguing about the uh, little bit of score, and then we're going to take the numbers. Not all anyway. adults are unhealthy and have it's, their it's bones. Not, it's not even about who's healthy. It's about what most adults have. Okay, according to the link, there are 33 vertebrae bones in the spine. Uh, but the question said adults. I wish I had some popcorn. <laughs> the sacrum and toxic are made up of nine either. vertebrae that are fused together to form a single bone. The sacrum is labeled S1. Uh, it's That's why I use the term vertebrae. Why don't you just give credit to both answers? Yeah. That's a good solution. Yeah, but if then some, if they didn't all get fused, then we can take everything in between too, just in case there's some that have fewer or more. I'm going from what the uh, link says, so. and that's that's not just one link. And uh, neither is what I'm doing, just one link. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the link, your link, James, doesn't mean it's exactly the answer that you asked the question. That's why I use the term vertebrae, not bones. Right, but you keep saying vertebrae, but other it's sites adult. also say vertebrae. The You're just saying he's between looking vertebrae for, and bones. The answer he's looking for is 33. But it's Where, incorrect. But the answer Where's, the, the, ref Where's the referee? Where's the referee? I could look for incorrect answers all the time, Karen, and ask questions, but that doesn't it's, necessarily mean it's anything. It's been done. <laughs> ask Robin. She just walked in. How many vertebrae in an adult <laughs> human? Yeah, put um, Robin on the spot. Um, let's see, we got you got your you got your lumbar, you got your sacral, you got your cervical sections, different sections. I think about twenty five. All right, the correct answer is twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> about Robin twenty five. Plus or minus one. <laughs> we have to be yeah, there's there's five lumbar. I think there's four sacral, so that's nine. I think there's three or four cervical, and then I think there's another section, mid thoracic, maybe. There's more <laughs> cervical than that, I know, because my fifth you've one had some of them. Seven fused. cervical. <laughs> yeah, all mammals have seven. My fifth one is bad. Okay, and James. There's another one yeah. with it. James. Five, uh, five of mine are fused. What is your so. final determination? <laughs> You'll take the heat. 33. 33. All right. You get 33. You get a point. Otherwise, no. All right. Scores, please. Let's start with, let me share the screen. Okay. Here we go. So we have two groups with 10. So let's do first. We're smart enough to pump our own gas. Under new management. What? We got nine. Wow. Oh, ringer, ringer. Impressive. Ringer. Not Washington, just easy to say words. Seven. I, seven? Is that right? I I so. count, I'm counting eight. Eight? Did you count number one? That was yeah. the only one. Oh, okay. Eight. <clears throat> yes, okay. we, we crossed out the word aorta. We said we wouldn't use that. So, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Moscow, McDonald's is MIA. Six. And it must be Thursday. I never could get the hang of Thursdays. Five. Ooh, we're all over the map here. Five, six, eight, nine. We need a seven to complete the we series for cruise, cruise, convoy to Cancun. Did we get a seven? Uh, not according to James. We got a six. Oh. Uh, but so the lead is now cruise, cruise, convoy to Cancun, but it's close. It's 
close. I would dispute that because according to Google, the answer is 24. Oh. It, it says adult. The All question, right, we're, if, we're past that. We're past that. I know. Let's go to. But when you're not past it, Rob, Rob. we listened to you for a long time. Remember that. <laughs> Let's go to Robin. Let's see. Let me give the powers to Robin. Hand me the yoke. Thank you, James. That was a fun category. Thank you. That was That's embarrassing. <laughs> we, we learned things. It wasn't a lighthouse, though, or nor punching. No, it was good. I liked it. I liked it. That's good. We only have to do it Okay, again. Robin, what is your category? Uh, I said hand me the yoke because my category is aviation. Ooh. Oh, of course. Are there any are there any aviation people in the audience? Yes. What do you do? Are you a pilot, James? I've been flying since I was uh, 14. Well, then your team's going to win this because these are easy <laughs> for a pilot. <laughs> oh. right, so he's, been okay. he's been smoking. I'm going to get my husband. The reason I'm kind of interested is because my sister got her private pilot's license a few years ago, and um, oh. she just bought a Cessna 182. <laughs> And um, she also has a type rating for a De Havilland Beaver float plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> she, used to own, she used to own the one that's in the Sausalito. Um, that's, they use it for the tours, air tours in Sausalito. Oh. I'm flying in my taxi, taking tips and getting stoned. <laughs> <laughs> is that a song? Is that a song? It is yes. a song. Harry Chapin, good. taxi. Uh, okay. okay, so uh, let's see who's got the powers yeah. to mute. That's you, Kevin. Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. It's muted. Go. Robin, unmute yourself. Okay, I'm going to be like cutting and pasting from my Word document into um, in here. Let's see. Question number one, I'm, I'm kind of all over the map here with my questions. It's There's going to be some technical questions, some fun questions, some, I don't know, you'll see. All right. Question number one, what airline is the world's oldest airline established in 1919? Add, add the numbers to the questions so people can keep track of them if you can. Okay. So I'll put a two right there. Uh, question number two. Oldest airline that is still in business? Uh, it is still in business, okay. yes. Because, yeah, there's been some that are defunct, so that's why I wanted to clarify. Thanks. Um, the question was worded, worded as if it was just the oldest airline in general, but it is still in business. Okay. Number two, pilots use words for letters, like, for example, whiskey tango foxtrot. What is the word for the letter Q? Okay. Number three. So, so cucumbers, Q and on. <laughs> Jets, jet aircraft have various speed limits they have to obey. For example, one of them is the sound barrier. What is the speed limit for jets flying under 10,000 feet? Question number four is gonna be a picture and James will definitely know this one. <laughs> that was poop, all right. I'm not getting this picture, it's not working. Copy, paste, it's not working. Ugh. Are you trying to paste the picture or just a link to a website with the picture? Um, I'm trying to paste the picture. Yeah, you can't paste pictures you can't in the do chat. That into Zoom. It's only oh. text. Oh, okay. What do I, how do I ask this question? Do you want to, want to share the screen, your screen, put it up on your screen and share it? Um, People, everyone has a smartphone. They can take a picture of it. Let's see. Make sure you don't have uh, any extra showing. When you exactly. Share. I'll have to. Um, 
I have to put it into a new thing into a new let's see new blank yes now i wish i had gone with a bigger picture okay now how do i do screen sharing share screen uh, you pick the right window <laughs> I... I, I i i clicked on the green thing at the bottom that says share screen and i have three choices one participant can share at any time multiple participants can share no 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 no, no 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 you, you you clicked on the up arrow click on the actual share screen big button share that screen that's now i've completely lost everything you see it can you see it you yep. see his picture of an airplane yep. yeah okay question is what direction is that airplane going ah. in, in what direction is that airplane pointing and the choices are northwest uh northwest southeast northeast southeast southwest northwest Okay. Okay. On so share now, screen. How do I do that? Unshare. Stop share. Okay. So that's that picture. Uh, what direction is that airplane pointing? Okay. Two. Um, okay. So I'm trying to write this into uh, Susan's form. So I could say, what direction is the plane going if it's on runway 27, right? Yes, you could say that, yes. Okay. Number four, in this room, CFI stands for Center for Inquiry. In aviation, what does CFI stand for? They got a lot of acronyms in aviation. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's not, that was supposed to be question five. Sorry, I messed up my numbers. All right, let me see. What's my next one? Number six. I bet James will get this one. This is the hardest one, I think. In the TV show Northern Exposure, what kind of an airplane does Maggie O'Connell fly? Wow, I'm four steps from remote from knowing that. I don't know who Maggie O'Connell is. I don't know what Northern Exposure is. Oh, it's the <laughs> best TV show of all time. <laughs> ah. In fact, I belong to a Northern Exposure fan group on, on Facebook. <laughs> wow. How old, how when did that go off the air? Um, it was in the early 90s, I think. Wow. Yeah. It's it, I, But I was watching it recently. They, they had it on some video archive, and they took it off. Um, but um, it, it holds up. It really does today. Let's see. Okay, number eight. John F. Kennedy Airport in New York was originally called what? Number nine. 
What was the name of Charles Lindbergh's airplane? And finally, I'm going to have to do screen sharing again because I've got um, Leonard's not here tonight, huh? I was, I was, I did a giveaway question to the um, the nerdy space crowd, and all especially Canadian nerds, although Leonard's not that. Uh, nerdy space crowd isn't that kind of a redundant? redundant. <laughs> <laughs> And now the question. All right, number 10, I'm doing screen sharing again. And the question is, these two pairs of guys share the same first names. What are they? A, B, C, or D? Okay, everybody got that you picture. Put the words to that on the on the chat, please. Yes, I will. I did a uh, screen print print screen. Okay. Okay. Now, what do I do? Any I'll questions? Do. Anybody first? Questions? I'll go to your room. Sounds like everybody's ready to get the answers. Go to your yep. rooms. Gail and Larry, you're still here. Do you have a room to join? You're muted, both of you. I was typing. So did it pop up to join a room? I guess so. What happened, James? Uh, huh. Are you in the wrong room? Yeah, I got to put you in room three. All right, so you're now assigned to, you're in room three, but uh, yeah, that's right, okay. And why is Robin here? 
Okay, so Robin, that's okay. God, everyone's asking for help. Richard asked for help. Karen asked for help. I don't know what's going on here. Let me go see what Karen wants. I just realized I was muted. I'm floating, as I have said. Yeah, okay. Um, Richard Saunders wants help. Can you go to wherever he, where is he? He's in, uh, crap, where is Richard Saunders? Richard Saunders is in room three. Can you go see what he wants? Uh, oh, actually, yes. Karen wants help too. So I guess you can go to both of those. Oh. Well, my, my clicked on leave, but I didn't No, 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 leave. Then you'll leave this whole session. I know. I need to, I had to go somewhere else. Oh, you have to open breakout rooms and then to join. Oh, okay. Room three? Yeah, room three. You are supposed to be in room three. Why are you not in room three? You're you're muted. You're muted. I was there and I got zapped into uh, <sighs> a bunch of men's. That's weird. All right. Where are you? Move to room three. See you. Bye. And I should go to room four.
Where is everybody? How you liking this, Susan? You're muted, by the way. Susan, how's your sister doing? Can you hear me, Susan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were talking shit about John Denver. We learned how he died. Susan's pointing down. I don't know what that means. He's oh, typing. she wants look me to look at the wrong. chat. My chat was closed. Use your eyes. Her sister is sleeping. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she has to be quiet. I'm oh, sorry. You're breaking pizza. Oh, that smells so good. Whew. Okay. Are we ready for the answers? Yep. Yes. I think I think people did pretty well on this one. Good mm -hmm. category. Yeah. Thank you. The world's oldest airline is KLM. Uh, Qantas is number two. Sorry. KLM oh. 1919. Qantas was established mm -hmm. in 1920, the next year. Where's KLM oh. out of? Uh, Holland. Yeah. The, the Netherlands. Oh. Netherlands. Never heard of part of Sky Team. Oh. Never heard of it. Okay. The letter Q is Quebec. 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 Oh, whoop, whoop. Quebec. 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 Not, not Quasar. We, we, even though that would be a better one. <laughs> I thought it was quintessence. Yeah, there you go. Quintessence. <laughs> quintessence. I thought, I, I thought Quest would be the best. Quixotic. A queen. A queen would be good. So there are, we, we, we're thinking of them, and it seems to be no single uh, syllable words. Most of them are two, but there are some threes. Quick. It's, Quick. it's two or more oh. for clarity. Or so you, sure you heard the right yeah. thing. Golf. Yeah. I'm surprised golf. you didn't do yeah. quack. Golf. Yeah, golf. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. There is that one. That's right. Yeah. Mike. Mike. Yep. Yeah. Is Mike. Is Mike, is yeah. Mike one? Mike, Mike is yeah, the Mike M. Friend. Mike yeah. is M. Yeah. yeah. Hotel is H. That's dumb. Mike November. <laughs> Papa, well, that's two. Papa Quebec. Your Romeo Tango. Oh yeah, they picked stuff and, that was and, e e easy to, you know, or not easy to get. You know, mixed up with other words. So. Right. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot is is what the fuck. Yeah. That's yeah. the name. That's the name of my friend's band, actually. Yeah. Oh. The name of the movie Tango too. Foxtrot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah. It stands Tina for what movie. movie. Yeah, Tina Fey oh. and Margot Robbie. Oh. I love in the movie Hot Shots. They're like Velveeta Tango underwear. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's a good movie. I like that. Movie. Uh, Number three, the, the speed limit for jets under 10,000 feet is 250 knots. Yes! Oh. Take it. And, and so, contrary to the 9-11 conspiracy theory, it, uh, airplanes are not going to fall apart if they go exceed that speed below 10,000 feet. That's, is that part of it now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just that the it's such controlled airspace. It's airspace right. that the jets have to share with propeller planes, and right. so you can't have some of them going 500 miles an hour yeah. some of them going yeah. and, so, and besides so, that it's, you can't it's, fly that fast that right. low the, the so, danger so of you didn't give a plus or minus you had to get that exactly well how fast oh, is you know 250 what? I'll, knots I'll, what's what's not right, i just hour? i just i just did the answer it's 288 miles an hour and we said 300 yeah um i'll, I'll give plus or minus 25 oh uh, <laughs> 300 yes 300 uh, uh, uh. yep yeah. Well, and we somebody, had the we had and, the answer short. Well, power. And somebody said they thought that that jets would stall at that speed. No, no, they no. can go. They can go. So I think they could, I think the takeoff speed, speed for a lot. Able to land. The takeoff speed is around 180 knots. I think for most of the big jets, James can confirm that. And, and it's also about the landing speed, 175. So, or, so can you yeah. clarify that? Yeah. So how? So what's the minimum maximum knots you're accepting? Uh, anywhere between 225 and 275. Okay, so 275 is 316 miles per hour. We said 300. Oh. I think we get a point there too. Oh, Only you said 300 space, miles per hour? hour? That's correct. We were saying. Okay, okay. If you think if it you're, works. If you're, if you're, that's okay. If, if you want to, if you want to answer in in kilometers per second, I'm. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many furlongs per fortnight? 
<laughs> if Jews I'm sitting on the ground it's and a jet is leaders. landing over my head, which sometimes happens on our local runways, I, I, I think it's miles per hour because that's how fast I'm driving. I'm driving by 60 and they're going about this. Oh, okay. So, how many partners in a thingy? Plus, they're all different kinds of knots. So, you know, there's nautical knots. and uh, you know, like Yes, and in fact, it is actually the 250 is knots of indicated airspeed. Yeah, is, uh, yeah. So if we want to get technical, it could be plus or minus a few miles an hour, I think. Mm. Yeah. So um, what direction is that plane pointing? That plane is pointing west. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Zero to the yes, right. 270 on the... On yeah. the Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a compass. Yeah. Ah, so compass. Runway uh, 36. Is west. If right. you're taking that off from 36, sense. you're north. Right. Runway uh, 8 is 180. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Learn that from Microsoft Flight Simulator for years. There you and go. Years to play that. And, and every runway has two numbers on it. It's got one set of numbers mm -hmm. at one end and when the other opposite 180 side. 180 degrees apart. Oh, yeah, okay, exactly. cool. I like learning. Oh, things. there are some. There are parallel runways. Mm -hmm. that are yes, all they, facing the, the same west, way. West How do they east, distinguish uh, them by number? Well, so like no. Moder Monterey Airport, for example, has two runways. It's two it's eight. runway two eight left and two eight yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. What about like O'Hare? They have two. They have the seven. like A, B, and C, or right, left, and center. Hmm. Yeah, they so they do have three parallel runways. I think O'Hare definitely hmm. has three parallel, at least three. At least. Yeah. Okay, uh, CFI stands for Certified Flight Instructor. Yay! Yay. Very good. Hi, Faith. Yay. I'll take it. Uh, Maggie O'Connell flew a Cessna 170. Ah, dang. Oh. And if you just put Cessna, I'll take it. Yes! Uh, I, I hey, 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 nice of you. That was ah. going to be tough back otherwise. And forth between it was gonna, and nobody Cessna knows what it is. Nobody's ever heard of a Cessna 170 because I think they're all in Alaska because they're the, this little tail dragger with the big tires in the front. Uh, so is we went um, back and forth that, between that Cessna show was and at? Beaver. We thought yes. Beaver would be funnier, and it it would make sense to land on water up there in Alaska. But um, she was like hauling it. Her, I think she put it in her garage at home or something. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things where you can land on a postage stamp, you know. Susan, it was filmed in Washington. Okay, Washington. You gotta get that right. Everyone needs to pay attention to the chat because Susan yeah. can't can't see Susan can't, can't talk because she has a sleeping sister. Uh, oh. oh, okay. All she's right. Nearby, very talk? close by. What are you Miracle. talking about? I've been talking up a storm. You mean Rob can't talk? Yes, exactly. Rob Susan, not Susan Rob. Yes. <laughs> Miracle on the Hudson, 2009. Yes. Very, very good. All right. Mike, I'll Mike take remember it. that one. Good from way of figuring it out. Kennedy, Kennedy Airport was called Idlewild. Mm -hmm. Twilight Zone episode, they use it. Yeah, yeah. Number nine, the spirit of St. Louis. Of course, yeah. we got to get that one right. Yeah. And number 10 is Bob and Doug. Either Mackenzie or two astronauts. Who Oddly, been... I had no idea who the who the top two pictures were, but I remember the astronauts' names. Uh -huh. You I, haven't I, seen I figured Strange we Bruce? have some no. people who would know one no. and uh -huh. some people who would know the other. The McKenzie so brothers. Good. The McKenzie that brothers. They're funny. hilarious. You should see the first, McKenzie that, brothers. Those were the first two space you like blue civilian brothers, astronauts. You love the McKenzie brothers. <laughs> SCTV and the album Great White North. Yeah. SCTV, baby. <laughs> okay, so he are you going to put the answers in the chat, Robin? He was the gatekeeper oh, in Ghostbusters. Copy them. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hey, Kevin, much. Kevin, my my dad and 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 uh, Moranis's dad used to golf together. Cool. They, they were uh, family friends. So, Alan, we need to figure out what game Avi's playing because uh, Wil Wilma and I confirmed that we're we're using the same word. So, I don't know what game Avi's playing. Okay, so let us uh, I hit, it may be scores. it may be it may be the same word. Uh, I just he may yeah, have it's just me a different. different it's just different themes. You can have a dark theme or a light theme. That's yeah, I didn't know that. Color block. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize that. Yep. Okay, so we have a score for sixteen to twenty-one here. Look at this, and it's actually climbing. Look at that. That is so weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I love okay. that we even put Rob <laughs> Susan and Susan Robin. <laughs> Starting at the bottom, which is the bottom, it must be Thursday, etc. We had seven. Brings it up to 23. You're in the lead by two points. Moscow, McDonald's, <laughs> MIA. Eight. Not even for five minutes. Yes. Not Washington, just easy to say words. 
Nine. 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 Oh. Going up, we're smart enough to pump around gas. Ocho. We got eight. Okay. Does the top team, previously top team, does it maintain its lead with a seven? Ten. How many did you get? We got a ten. Oh. Wow. Oh. 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 The lead mm. has spread here. Susan, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're ready for the bonus category, folks. Okay. Gail has the powers. I am ready. Uh, hang on, Rob. Do you come to our team? Who comes I, to our team? Who I you? come to your team. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, what we're going to do for the bonus category is the topic is match the famous political quote with its author. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'll start by giving you, it's a matching and there is a bonus. So there are altogether 11 possibilities. And I'll start by giving you the people. It's a matching. So the people I will put in the chat now, and then I'll give you the quotes. In order to make it not a situation where you automatically get one wrong if you miss one, uh, there's one name that does not match. In other words, there's one more name for which there is no quote. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the names of the possible people, and they're lettered from A to L, and so you can just indicate it by the letter, right? A is Margaret Thatcher, B is Nelson Mandela, C is Stephen Fry, D, Ronald Reagan, E, Mahatma Gandhi, F, Abraham Lincoln, G, Isaac Asimov, H, Malcolm X, I, Martin Luther King Jr., J, Douglas Adams, K, Hillary Rodham Clinton, and L, Ann Richards. Okay? So here are the quotes, and I will give you each one separately. that you are matching. One of those names goes with each quote, okay? Number one, you're not to be so blind with patriotism that you can't face reality. Wrong is wrong, no matter who says it or does it. Okay, number two. After all, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did. She just did it backwards and in high yield. Number three. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe nor politic nor popular but he must take it because his conscience tells him it is right. Number four, four is a long one. There is a cult of ignorance in the United States and there has always been the strain of anti-intellectualism that has been a constant thread winding its way through our political and cultural life, nurtured by the false notion that democracy means that my ignorance is as good as your knowledge. Mm. Number five. <clears throat> What difference does it make to the dead, the orphans, and the homeless, whether the mad destruction is wrought under the name of totalitarianism or in the holy name of liberty or democracy? <coughs> Number six. Any 
anyone who is capable of getting themselves made president should no on no account be allowed to do the job. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, it's now common to hear people say, I'm rather offended by that. As if that goes, gives them certain rights. It's actually nothing more than a whine. I find that offensive. It has no meaning. It has no purpose. It has no reason to be respected as a phrase. I'm offended by that. Well, so fucking what? <laughs> nice. Number eight. Who's all for Gail cursing more often? <laughs> <laughs> A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones. Okay, number nine. If I want to knock a story off the front page, I just change my hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Pretty sure that was Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> there are hints in there, even if you don't know the quotes, yes. I always cheer up immediately if an attack is particularly wounding because I think, well, if they attack me personally, it means they have not a single political argument left. And the bonus. Politics is supposed to be the second oldest profession. I have come to realize that it bears a very close resemblance to the first. <laughs> so all you have to do is find the, the author of each one of those and one of them is there's an extra one so one of those names is not matching with any of them all the others are only matched once thank okay? you for the clarification Gail. that's awesome Wait, i'm confused it looks like there's 12 there are 12. There are 12 and there are 11 quotes there. All right. Ten quotes one, extra, one extra person that we won't be using. That's right. So that you do, it doesn't happen by default. 10 plus the bonus is 11. Okay, but you can only get 10 points. Right. Okay. right. You can only get 10 points. So you can get one wrong, but you can't get two wrong automatically because you miss one. And you're left with the other one. Okay. And how do you want this done? The letter number or number letter? Um. I have them listed and then I give the answers with the numbers with the letters next to them. Okay, okay. so we should do That's that. Good. Way, so we're so who, is, who is the Monday person Monday. for each quote? Okay. Sounds okay. good. Any okay. questions? Okay. Good. Good job. Yep. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying this. I like it.
Oh, first back, huh? Yep. Hey, that was fast. Yeah. Well, I think we did okay. I think we did I well. I thought so too, seven. yeah. It was actually a very good category that Gail came up with. Yeah, definitely. Tough. Very tough. I'm just disappointed that on that aviation one, we always see advertisers by Qantas being the oldest airlines. But I didn't realize it's the second oldest in the world by one year. You have to look at the promotion. There's a real tiny two next to it. <laughs> they always advertise. They don't, I don't get it. It's a great airline, though. So really fantastic. I wrote Qantas once. It. it was nice, yeah. We went to the, um, we were members of um, the British Airways. We were members of the, the Gold Club of British Airways. And Qantas okay. was a part of the same team as Qantas, as British Airways. So their lounge, their lounge in Sydney, Oh my God, it was like unbelievable. The, oh my God, the food was fantastic and unlimited Australian beers was excellent. Nice, it was really nice airlines. Great. That was a good category. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Everybody's that should, back. That should be a category, shouldn't it? Australian beers, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number one, Foster's. Number two, Foster's. Number three, Foster's. Emo. Australian for beer. Maybe. <laughs> Drop Emo. there. Since everyone's back, should we do the answers? You should do yeah. the answers. What I'll do yeah. is I will read the quotes and the answer, and then I'll put them in the chat along with the list with the numbers and the letters. Okay? Great. Okay. okay. Uh, the first one you're not so blind with patriotism, you can't face reality. The, that one was Malcolm X. Yes. Uh, Sorry, folks. Gigi Roger did everything Fred Astaire did. She just did it backwards. I think you all got that one. That was Ann Richards. Yeah. Can you say the letter too, please? Um, I, I'll, I'll put the letters in one the One H, back. two okay. L. Thank no. you. Because I just I have letters have down. I have them in a different place. I'll put them okay. all the letters in yeah. the chat. I'll make a right. list Thank of you. all the letters in the chat. Yeah, if you want me to do that now, will that help bit. you? Let me put the letters in the chat now so you've got them. Copy. Oh my God. I don't what? Okay. So those are the answers, but we'll go back over so that you know who which one is which one okay. in case I made another mistake. Okay. Uh, there comes a time we take a position that's either safe um, or politic. That was Martin Luther King, number three. Oh, oh no. A cult of ignorance in the United States. That's Isaac Asimov. Oh, no. Couldn't be more. Couldn't be more true today, right? Yeah. Number Dude, five. What difference does it make to the dead, the orphans, and the homeless? That's yeah. Mahatma Gandhi. Number six. Anyone capable of making himself president should know it can't be allowed to do the job. That's <laughs> Douglas Adams from the Attractive Guide to the Galaxy. Ah. They find people rocks. Number seven, I think you all got this that I saw uh, because of the, the, the uh, word in the end was Stephen Fry, right? Yep. The one who said, it's so fucking what. Uh, number eight, a nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens. That's Nelson Mandela from A Long Walk to Freedom. Number nine, I want to knock a story off the front page. I just changed my hairstyle. That was Hillary Clinton. Eight. And number 10, I always cheer up immensely if the attack is particularly wounding because I think, well, if they attack me personally, it means they have not a single political argument left. That's Margaret Thatcher. Mm. And politics is supposed to be the second oldest profession. I have come to realize that it bears a close resemblance to the first was Ronald Reagan. Oh, we shouldn't have switched those. Sorry, guys. I really thought that was Lincoln. Okay, we didn't go with your answer. I know. But and you'll notice fine. I I did put Lincoln in because he has a lot of quotable things. So he was a good distraction. Yeah, he was. That was a good choice for the one that was. I thought that was a much deal. older quote. Yeah. Well, okay, it is I'm the putting... oldest and second oldest profession. So <laughs> I just didn't picture Lincoln bringing up. The no, first but I could see Lincoln profession. saying it. Because Lincoln yeah. was just that kind yeah. of guy. Farmer is the oldest profession. It was flint napping, actually. Huh? 
Flint oh, mapping. Yeah. So there are all the questions with the quotes and the references from the quotes. All righty then. Um, good category, Gail. Very good. Very good. good job, Gail. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Mm -hmm. That was, that cool. was nice. The scores are still in order from lowest to highest on this sheet. Yeah, how often does that happen? I don't know. That'd be interesting to look at. Okay, we'll see if it maintains that way. Uh, the It Must Be Thursday team. Sticks. Mm, did not take over the lead. How about Moscow McDonald's MIA? Four. Oof, definitely did not take Ooh. over the lead. <laughs> oh, tied. Not Washington. Eight. Mm. Wow. Stop the count. Here. Stop the count. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're smart enough to <laughs> pump our own gas. Somebody on that team? Five. Ooh. Sorry, my microphone was off. Five. Did the cruise, cruise convoy to Cancun get enough to eke it out? Ten. Oh, oh. More than he could out. What a oh. bold finish! <laughs> Congratulations! I was no help. In fact, I tried to talk him out of the bonus. So that if it's all, it was all Ben, and it was all Carl. It was mostly Carl. Come on, what are we talking about here? <laughs> well, you game, agreed with him. People. Well, actually, I agreed with him too. Very I wrote a lot of them down. Them. I agreed with. I him want too. you to know that when our team picked its name, and this got got us into a tie for last place instead of in last place. Um, it was a quotation, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm doing quotations for the last thing, but they did not know that. <laughs> hey, Rob, Rob, when yes. you're messing around with the spreadsheet, will you fix the please. vertical alignment on the names of the groups? <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah, that did bug me. I didn't get around to that. I had a list of 20 things to fix that was not high enough. Oh, it, you listed the, the things yeah. to fix? Yeah. The, 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 the list of things he has to bottom. fix on a spreadsheet. Uh, so hey. what are you going to go for? Are you going to go for top, bottom, or center alignment? Uh, all right. they, I just want left. them all to be the same. Like, yeah. like this the fact was that all, they're mixed is weird. Susan had these in the center, name of group, but all these are left justified. just looked awful. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey. um, all right. Girls, I, I got to run. I think I fess. I thought I fess. Good night, Alan. Good night, guys. Thank, Thank you for hosting. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thank Robin. you for running nice the show. Good night, Good night Richard. Robin. Yes, Perfect. nice job. Do you need to line up people for next week before people start dropping off? I think, no, I think we have them. Let's oh, see, for next Rob week, what do we have for next week? We you have, have I do, I'm looking. We have for Pi Day and St. Patty's Day, we have Avi, Gail, Peggy, Adrian, and me doing bonus. Oh, right. Yeah. So, but boom. That's we're doing stuff on Thursday. We're not actually having a special Pi Day trivia on Pi Day, are no. we? Okay. We're celebrating so observing Pi Day on Thursday. Okay, got it. It's, Which is St. Patrick's Day. It actually okay. is St. Patrick's Day, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So so we need to wear some green is what we're saying, huh? Mm -hmm. For the picture. Okay. There you or go. Green yeah. filter. Well, I wore, yeah. I wore green today. It's very dark green, though. Not very bright green. I might have a green shirt somewhere. Well, yeah, thank you, Rob. Five. Rob, Susan, Susan, Rob, Gerbeck. Yeah, good job, Susan, Rob. Yeah, that was a you. very good job. You did a very good thank job. Thank you, I, Rob. I'm impressed. I might let some, might let you do it again. <laughs> I got to tell you, this was a lot more work than I thought because what Susan does behind the scenes is to copy the questions and the answers to the spreadsheet. And it's not that easy to go from the chat and Zoom to a spreadsheet format. And, uh, and the people yeah. and all yeah. the people who are there. So you, you got you got multiple monitors, right, Rob? That's No, the best I way. don't. It would what? Be oh, makes it harder, yeah. Yeah. Rob, I have like mm. two spare monitors in my, <laughs> like within five feet of my me right PC now. My PC only one. has one monitor port, so I have oh. one. For that I have, I have three. three. I have three, and it I makes use... zooming so much because I always have a notepad where I'm copying and pasting mm -hmm. all the questions, and that's okay. what makes it easy to screen share that for whichever team I'm in. So yeah, you definitely should upgrade to multiple you monitors. Need, it makes zooming so too. much if easier. If I was running this all the time, I would consider. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely makes. Rob, it a lot you need easier. multiple yeah, monitors just because multiple anyway, monitors. Anyway, cool. yeah. Yep. You need you nine so you can play day, Hollywood Squares and Brady Bunch. I actually have a desk, which is made to fit a tiny little space, which I don't think is three. It's probably less than three feet wide. And my monitor is like, I don't know, more than two thirds of that. So I, I would have to then redecorate my room and put it in a whole different place and get another mm -hmm. desk. And I, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to go down there. Or, or I, 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 in that room that you're in, Rob, there's more space than that. 
<laughs> I, I have a 27 and two 25s. <laughs> Wow. So they're not like ultra wide or anything but yeah, yeah. you need to get that was like my desk at work we had three monitors each one was a was a classified system which was not on the internet right so, laptop yep. one another. and some of them were curved monitors which oh, neat. Oh, yeah curved cool. is nice curved for tvs curved is silly but TV. curved for for monitors is great okay i'm gonna go leave because i gotta go wow. and get ready for tomorrow wow carl <laughs> i'll see you guys later you where can keep are, bye, Susan where palmer. are you bye I'm rob susan palmer yeah, <laughs> you, guys could, you guys can talk all about me keep where are you susan i'm in stanford stanford where's connecticut that? 